breasts. Breastfeeded. 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 Breasts. I like big dicks. I like big dicks. I like big dicks. I'm a size queen. I'm a size queen. I like big dicks. I like big dicks. Yes! Slaps. 
slaps like my ass. Hello and good evening. Yes, an actual normal fucking stream. Oh. So, what's going on? What's good, Quasi? Um, congratulations on losing a fuck ton of weight. I saw some people super chatted and so on. Thank you, Ed G, for becoming a member. Respergu, thank you for the wiener and juicy booch with the stealth super chat. What is up, Matt Snacks? Why the early stream? This isn't really early. I lost a lot of fake weed. That's probably a good thing. Remember like when bath salts were a thing? I, I think I talked about this the other day. There was that kid they showed who like lost his mind in the back of the car. It was sad. I looked there and he looked into it. Yeah, I did talk about this because he looked into it. He actually was had severe bipolar disorder. And uh, he ended up jumping off a building. You know, because it was his bipolar. He refused allegedly like I saw he actually did pass away. And that was true. Uh, but uh, he allegedly had bipolar disorder. OK, well, that's a way to shart shart the stream. I shit in my pants and I'm taking off my shirt for you. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start paying, asking for fifty for shards. Oh my god! <laughs> Thank you, troll. Hello, Rich. Been watching you since 2017. Do you realize that's seven fucking years now? Like this computer. You want to know what's gonna really ruin my channel? This fucking computer. <laughs> It's got to go. I, I don't care if I'm in, like, Phil sweating pulley men debt. I need to get a, like, a 14900K in here. I can't do it. Like, it crashes every fucking day. Every fucking time. It's like, oh, I need to render this file. I Even if I restart it first and open up the software again, thinking, all right, because there's probably memory leaks because that's... Vegas is not great, it, but honestly, I mean, I haven't tried it in about six years at least. Uh, but Premiere on Windows isn't great either. Uh, yeah, it'll crash every fucking time. And then there's sometimes there was two, only two crashes today. So it was a good day. Uh, there are times where this fucking computer, especially if there's a file that's like not um, like Vegas will warn you that it doesn't have the right compression so it's not efficient and it'll like slow down your timeline but usually it could plow through it sometimes it doesn't though and then it'll crash like it'll be a big long video like the one uh like the big project I'm doing I actually rendered it once to see if there was any copyright issues and there was this one fucking file it was Satoru Iwata rest in peace god rest his soul Showing the GameCube, and for some reason, even after I converted it in Handbrake, there was something weird about that file that it would render and just freeze fucking solid. Huh. Like, editing, I love it. I do. I genuinely love it. But shit like that, and this computer just, like, being a dog. Oh, boy. Mud on. Um, don't get AMD, it'll burn your house down. <laughs> AMD is meant to overheat. Let me tell you something, duty. Those little review unit computers that I got that I love, if that's how AMD's handling video editing now, I might go with AMD. I'm thinking the 14900K, like I said earlier. I'll look at both. I'll talk to John Hardwick. I don't know if you're here yet. Uh, um, maybe I'll discuss it with you. I know you know your shit, and I'm out of the loop. 
Isn't that weird, duty though? Remember there was a time where like AMD was like they were like, "Oh, that's the value option." That's how people put it nicely, like if you can't afford the Intel, if you can't whatever i7 they had that was current for them, you went with AMD. There was a while in the beginning even when when Intel first introduced i7s, the AMD like their like their 6 core processors, the Phenom 6 cores kind of went toe to toe with them, but then they lost the plot with the FX chips, man. <laughs> Those chips fucking oh boy. They actually had a class action lawsuit. I was sent like a whopping two cents for it because I own some the FX chips because AMD saying they were eight core processors were technically a lie. Uh, I mean, there was eight cores. I'll get to the other super chats in a second. My apologies, but they were on like one module and the two cores shared cash. Uh, so it kind of kneecapped them. So AMD's marketing was kind of lying. So there was a class action lawsuit, and you go like, hey, look, I can, I don't even know what the fuck, I can't even get a cup of coffee with this check, but thank you, AMD. Um, I don't know, I have a lot of interesting stuff. I've been uh, out of the loop. Uh, so is Quano TV going to be a judge of the anti-woke game? Yes. Dude, I mean, Melody Mac is not as, I mean, okay, she's not jumping on people's cars and attacking them and but he's melody max not that much better she's really not remind me guys there's a video of someone i talked about this but i wanted to watch it he's a he's a youtuber don't say i'm punching down uh he was simping for her call, talking about how she's wife material this guy had like 89 subs. It's not that I'm looking to pick on anybody. And she was in the comment section. So you know what that means? She was looking for people like affirming her beliefs and stuff. And like she was looking up. She was Tommy tellerico -ing. Literally like not. That's not even that's exact perfect analogy. She was sitting there actively typing her name either in Google or YouTube and seeing what people were like kissing her ass. Isn't that insane? I got to find it. Remind me. I may have to do some digging. I don't like dude. Like I said, he had 89 subs. Not that I'm looking to shit. Look, let him simp. Who gives a fuck? But she was in the comment section. Oh, why is oh, I'm going through puberty. I don't know if he's like bald. He had long hair. I think he had hair. Jesus. Uh, well, he's dead, so... All right, let me get to Super Chats. My apologies. We're getting to that magical number, so... So, so Quantum TV, yes, he's going to be the judge. Trump can secure... Cannot secure, and his assets are going to be seized. I don't even... I'm too... Dude, I don't even... Like, it's not you I'm talking about. I'm like, I see this shit, and I'm like... I want to look at it, but I'm like, in case you didn't know us, I have a lot of other shit. And I'm like, I just don't want any extra stress. I don't. Politics is interesting, but I think everyone can agree. It's no matter what your political ideologies are, it is a fucking stressful thing to keep up with. It is a stressful thing to keep up with. If you are a political, you see political commentators, they don't, a lot of them don't age well, except Anna Kasparian. Bless her heart. Um, how about you kiss my fucking ass and lick my balls, please? Mr. Underscore G underscore point sixty nine sixty nine donated three hundred twenty seven dollars and sixty three cents. This donation goes directly to Jim Ryan in case if the PS5 Pro goes ham. Hashtag Kappa Pride lol lol lol. Thank you very much. I appreciate the donation. If it doesn't get... Sorry to be the, the pessimist, but I've been doing this for a while. If it doesn't get refunded, I do appreciate it. Yeah, they're banking a lot on the upscaling tech. And let me tell you something. I think it's smart they went because they at first I heard they were going with AMD. 
um, for going with like a, a kind of proprietary version of FSR. Have you tried FSR 3.0 or what? If it's three, I think it's 3.0. It fucking sucks dick. Their frame insertion is garbage. It just adds micro stutter. At least on the integrated graphics. Maybe if I had no, I even had dedicated AMD GPU. Pff, no. Oh my god, I was so depressed when they, like because dude, I was running on integrated graphics. Uh, Call of Duty. It not it was like a mixture of basic and balanced settings, I think, at sixteen hundred by nine hundred. At a hundred and twenty FPS solid. Once it went to and I was on FSR or two point whatever it was was balanced. 120 FPS, 1600 by 900 integrated graphics. They updated it to 3.0. You could barely keep 60 now, and it's not that my GPU is not even tapped out because I run MSI Afterburner. Even the integrated graphics, it just sucks. <laughs> so let me get back to the super chats. My apologies. Uh, so. I'm shitting. I thought I'd let you know, dude. Best fucking news I heard in a year. How about I you think... kiss my fucking ass and lick my balls? Sony lied to Mega Fawaz, donated $10. PS5 Pro will never achieve 60 FPS on upcoming GTA 6. The best kind of, case scenario yeah, is it will look beautiful and hot like me. Period. So please don't get fooled by all specs. Let only fools like me purchase PS5 Pro. Now Rich give me all spam sounds you can give. A. Uh, <laughs> That was terrible. <laughs> that was really bad. No, my daughter's okay. She is. I don't know. Depends on how late I stay up. I probably should start, you know. Um, shockingly, I'm not kidding. I swear on my kids. I got offers to for people who are like, hey, I'll do clips for you. Uh, yeah. Um, if anyone is interested, uh, I'll pay a thousand per month. We'll work. You will. We'll discuss what you think a fair workload is for that. And you put clips on this channel of my incoherent streams. Yeah, I could definitely. We'll talk. You'll get paid monthly once I get paid from YouTube each month. You'll I'll, you'll get paid the day I get paid. Um, and we could talk about what's fair. It'll be really simple. I'll give you the intro. The outro clip you upload. Um, you could is art is my email in my ass. Let me look. Yes, my email is right under. Oh, I still have Dosa Via there. You know what? She's hot, so she could stay there. That is fine. But right under her is my email. You know, and like I said, we'll talk about what's fair. It's it's kind of pretty fucking easy money, especially if you it'll be even easier. I could see people being more incentivized, like if you watch me on a somewhat regular basis, because you'll be like, oh, yeah, watch Rich's stream last night here, here, chop, boom, upload bye. You know what I mean? It'll still be it's still fairly easy work, even if you don't watch me, you know. But if you do, it'll be like a, it would be a one up. Not that I'm trying, I got, I sound like I'm gaslighting like Phil. You get my fucking point though. I don't think I'm, I'm not making shit up. Um, I'll do clips, but only nine, in nine by 16. Oh, you're talking about shorts? Who? Um,. So, you, Josh, you could hit me up, too. You know, all I need is someone who, like, you know, knows a bit of what they're doing.
Uh, let me see here. Sent you some video submissions to your Cobra's girlfriend. Glad had the worst melt I've ever seen on live stream. Yeah, I, I, so, dude, I have so many videos lined up tonight, but I, I may I may want to veer off and go down. Like, I like Cobra. I the only time I like I don't like watching him is when I think he drinks too much because I don't think he's a bad person. I don't like watching him beat the shit out of himself like that. Does that make sense? But when he has like that crazy bitch there, or he's like eating disgusting. Well, even the dis eating the disgusting food kind of makes me dry heave a little bit. But um, yeah, didn't allegedly she gave him herpes too, which is she ruined his YouTube career and gave him herpes. What a she's a she's wife material. Um, yes, I like frogs. I have a confession to make, though. When I was eight or nine years old with my friend, we used to play frog baseball. I do deeply regret that. <laughs> that was, I think back to that. I'm not laughing at it. It's like, Jesus Christ, man. I've talked about that on stream before. Like, I wouldn't, like, I was like, why would you do that, dude? So evil. Like, it genuinely bothers me that was a decision that I've made in my life. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking Intel. I'm thinking AMD. You know, I was kind of like Intel probably be better for video editing, but all these little mini PCs that I'm using, I know we'll start watching the videos, guys. I'm sorry. We're over the 500 mark. Um, I got to do something, though. Because it's not, and I can't bitch at this computer to a degree because it's served me well for basically seven years, whether it be video editing or live streaming, but it's time. Uh, oh, there's a bird here. Dude, I'm doing okay. Um, another announcement I'm going to wait, think I'm going to make is the, I'm going to do the PS5 video. I'm going to start working on that tomorrow. Um, God, I feel like that this is going to do the Half-Life 3 effect, though. I've been thinking about this a lot. This is not an impulsive thing. With the current situation, I think it would be a very bad idea to release the high product, at least for me, high production value video that is complete. Um, I think I would be just be sending it out, quite frankly, to die. Um, the PS5 video will grab its own legs because people love seeing... GameStop refurbished PS5 shit. Uh, but that video, I feel like right now, I need to let sleeping dogs lie. Uh, and I think kind of like when the dust settles, it would be a good time to release it. I mean, I, it, but then on the flip side, I'm like, I'm making it like this fucking thing is Schindler's List. And it's not. Like, let's keep it real. Uh I don't know. So we'll see. I have some, th I've been thinking about it a lot. It's done. Oh, well. It is what it is. Relaxed peg anus. So I, uh, frogs. Yeah. I, those Pac-Man frogs don't fuck around though. I got, I knew we, after the crashes desert, I'm like, this video, I'm just sending it out to die. It may be a dud of a video anyway. Who knows? But I know I've never uploaded, even when I was at my peak YouTube form, uploading a video at 6 o'clock, it would fucking bomb, unless it was a major breaking fucking where people were scrambling to see news story or something. So I'll upload it tomorrow around like 3-ish. Fucking, again... The compute. The reason the video did, it wasn't up today is because of the crashes. Those Pac-Man frogs, like I was saying before, though, they're no joke, man. Like, and their tongues are really sticky. Like, <laughs> fucking anything that goes near it, they eat like ridiculous shit too. Oh man. Um, 
get a Mac. I thinking of that too, like a M2 or M3. Do they have Mac Minis with M3s in them? Maybe dipping my toe in that way. I don't. I do not, I have so much I got to think about. <laughs> and I'll get to Streamlabs too. I need spammed intro guy farts desperately. Absolutely. Where is it? I get it. There, I don't know, dude. That's basically the situation we're in again. Troll McTrollington. Um, Jacob, thank you very much. I'll do clips, but only nine by sixteen. Off topic, but do you ever watch? Oh no, it's Alex. Why does that sound fucking familiar? Uh, why does that sound so fucking familiar? What kind of channel? Get PSSR. That, that's going to be their proprietary upscaler. Uh, did you see the Circle Jerk podcast invited you on? Nah, I'm good. I am whatever is need to be said about that situation has been said and done. Uh, I may have a button where it says, please refer to the Local podcast for any questions. Imagine I did that. Made it sound like it was on like a record player too. Like anytime someone says it, I'm like, I think I'll do that. So that's something that I think I'm going to do. There's no reason to talk about it. He does roast of gaming news. I know I've heard of Oh No, It's Alex before. I am not talking about a certain situation, though. It's done. Um, let me look up oh no it's Alex now you have me all you have my nipples tingling let me do a new because I before I went out I was like getting those, that shit ready oh no I think I know oh no it's Alex I actually watch his shit yeah this dude's cool as fuck man why what's up with him he has nicer nipples than me, too, so there's that. Yeah, I'm cool with him. Cool with his wife, too. She's on Twitter, I think, as well. And she has a YouTube channel, I think, as well. So. All right, man. So it's time to take games back. From a man who I think admitted that doesn't game anymore. I'm pretty sure he said this. I know I need to change the screen. This is actually the video I did today that if my computer almost didn't light on fire, maybe duty, there's some, maybe Phil's right. AMD is designed to overheat. Actually, the processor is running fucking cool as hell. It's just inundated because it's almost a decade old oh i don't care who uses my clips I, that shit doesn't bother me dude i even see like clips of me crying and shit it's like all right whatever what am i gonna do like it's whack-a-mole why would i even it's just a waste of fucking time you know make sure you guys are seeing me right yes you are all right let's hear now, I did sales and did pretty decent in sales for a very long time. Okay. Um, I wasn't the best because I usually got bored and then quit after a couple years because it can be very fucking boring. But this is a sales pitch. This is a very disingenuous thing. I'll show you the markers to look for with this. We're going to watch. And I'm going to probably pause a lot, viewer discretion advised, because uh, I'll have a lot to say. 
If there's one thing that's become painfully clear over the last couple weeks, it's that the people who work in this industry and write about this industry that you love hate you. It's one big cl Yeah, you're, you're, t dude, you're, t yeah, the mainstream, I said this in the video today, like, yeah, the Kotaku's and stuff, like, who fucking cares, though? Like, you're making it like it's a red alert, red alert problem. We've been ignoring them for years when they, I mean, look, they, they do good. Like if there's like leaked information, they do their job with that. But when they're doing that virtue signaling shit, it just goes right over our heads. It's not like this dangerous problem. It's not like, you know, every game is going to be developed by Anita Sarkeesian. It's not 2014. You know what I'm saying? Club and you are not in it. In fact, did you know that the Game Awards are voted on by those exact same people? I mean, look at this list. It's IGN and Polygon and Variety, for God's sakes. It's an elitist. Yeah, but like I said in my video again today, Craig, what were the, pa the past two years and even other years before that? You could argue with The Last of Us 2, and I would, that, that game, just too much fucking dialogue for me. My, my alleged ADHD makes me check out what won in 2023 the widely loved Baldur's Gate 3 what won in 2022 Elden Ring yeah that game sure sucks huh those damn SJWs it's the fucking SJWs helping games like Elden Ring to exist then let them exist what are you talking about? How, what's, how is the industry being ruined? It's in retraction right now due to cost and greedy CEOs making games as a service. The, the mistake of that and overestimating the value. But what are you talking about? Stop with this whole political... Yes, there's always the Saints Row 2022 extreme, but that's the exception, not the rule. And the pronouns don't care if the game is mediocre as fuck. The pronouns in Starfield do not fucking count. They don't count. The game is not about your fucking gender. Stop it. Just a flexible option. Oh, it's so woke outdated system and it's had way too much sway in the video game industry for way too long. I've been talking about video games online for almost two decades now and pl been playing games like longer than that, but I have never seen the video game industry this toxic. It is time. Him saying that. Ah, ah, I forgot to open Streamlabs. That's not what I, him saying that. The fucking guy who has basically has Melody Mac as a co-host is talking about toxicity. This is. I got you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, it's amazing. Time to get our voice back. Now, look, I'm not telling you. I used to say this even back in the day when people alleged that I was based. I don't care if a game has a trans character, black character, white character, Asian character, male character, female character. I don't fucking care as long as the game is good. That's all I care about. That's it. I used to say that in 2015. I still say it now. If you enjoy a game but are just like, oh my god, that's a, it's a transgender woman, even though the gunplay is incredible, I, I can't play it. You're the problem. You're the problem. I mean, if they're shoving like this stuff down your throat, that's different. You get what I mean? Where it's like the whole game is... Virtue signaling, virtue signaling. What am I? It looks like I'm doing something with my breasts right now. Breasts. Breasts. <laughs> yeah, she's just compelled by the power of Christ. <laughs> yeah, fuck her. Like, what are you saying, dude? The, t the two last years, the games that won awards. Would you uh, say that either of those games are woke? Like, that's the thing. That's the reality. But he's selling. So the first thing he's doing 
is he's wrapping his audience up emotionally and he's getting them emotionally invested. So he's there. Here's the distress part. And now his audience is distressed. So now he's going to give a solution. Watch. Yeah, I got this whole idea mapped out because I don't. I don't even have a name for this yet, but it's become painfully obvious that this. He doesn't have a name. He's asking money. Holy Christ, if I did this. I'm not, I'm not, that's not a woe is me thing, but let's keep, he's like, hi, I want your money. I want a lot of it. What am I going to do with it? I don't know, but I want your money. At least I'm being honest. Doesn't make it any better. I barely have a plan. I don't know what I'm doing, but sign up and give me your money monthly or yearly. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. My desk is falling apart. D l listen. <laughs> I'm opening up an OnlyFans. Is very much... Not... Thank you, Alpha Daddy, for being a member for two years. Uh, it's been an interesting couple of weeks. That's all. Needed. Year after year, over and over again, after the Game Awards, people say... There has to be a real award show for gamers. No. Well, let's do no, it. No, this is actually what they say. You're making you're you're making a problem that doesn't. They say that award shows are are either they're just fucking boring. They're fucking boring. All you're gonna and your solution is only gonna be like oh they have those like uh virtue signaling commercials and things like that. You're just going to be the right-wing version of that. That's all you're going to do. You're going to have, like, sketches in between the awards where you oh, being woke is so gay. Wow, that's so much better. <laughs> so you're just going to have right... You don't think he's doing this and thinking of as many fucking ways he's going to make money? He's going to have like a fucking 37 Black Rifle coffee ads in between each segment. He's just going to be, it's just going to be the right wing game awards. Same nonsense, same filler, just in their minds, edgier. Woo. <laughs> Tell me where I'm wrong. Tell me where is the lie. Uh... Oh, but he has his he, yeah, he has his pockets open for you. He has the the tiers, the pockets. He I think from what I've read somewhere, one of the tiers was sixty a month. He cut it down to thirty. He'll take that money now. Doesn't even have the full idea formulated. Give him credit for that. He's like, you know what, my audience is so fucking stupid that they'll give me the money even though I don't really have an idea. And what's amazing is Kind of like Vosh with his fucking creepy lolly horse porn. Because they're so in the bubble with him, they won't care. And then he could probably do another one of these and nothing will come to fruition. And they'll happily empty out your pockets. To, again, I, cho I chose the wrong route with YouTube. Oh, man. Uh, Foil Grim, thank you for the delicious wiener. Um... Alpha Daddy, I'm just, you know, I apologize. I You've been a member for two fucking years. I love you. Uh, yeah, isn't that amazing, though? This is the first step to creating a club or a group where you decide the winners. And There is a lot of history that I do not have off the top of my head that you can look into that exists. And I have spoken to people about Craig's past. I'm not saying I'm a flawless person. It's, it is what it is. I don't even feel like. And losers of the video game industry. A club where you get to decide the categories, the nominees for the categories, and of course, vote on them. And it'll all be done through an app where you can do it easily and securely. So is this club free? Nope, absolutely not. Why? As we've seen over the last few years, our hobby okay. has been hijacked by activists looking to push their own agenda and literally... Well, DBZ, it's not really... 
EDP literally went somewhere to meet what he thought was an underage child to stick his dick in them and was caught on camera doing it. Whereas whatever the fuck he was whacking it to was drawings, albeit disgusting. You know what I mean? So it's still not in the same league, you know? Literally push you out. For that reason alone. Not fucking defending EDP. I'm just saying that's the reality of it. Well, there has to be. Not defending Vosh, I mean to say. Sorry. Be a barrier of entry to be a part of this club. Hell. Oh, yes, we're going to gatekeep. We should have been. <laughs> that is the weirdest pitch ever. He is saying, hell yeah, we're going to gatekeep. Hell yeah, we're going to take your money. Am I wrong? That I was like, what the fuck is going on? This is the weirdest sales pitch I've ever heard. And it's, dude, I looked at the like to dislike ratio. They're bought. They, they're in. There's probably a lot of people signing up for this. Oh, man. I'm not an I'm a I'm not an angel by any means, but if I was a complete piece of shit with no moral compass, man, oh man, there's a lot of money to be made. I've been gatekeeping much longer, but here's my vision: with your support, we'll number. Oh no, I, I didn't even see that you commented, but you can. Uh... Anyway. Number one, be able to make the app. And number two, be able to create a physical award show that you'll be able to attend, guess what, with the app serving as your ticket. My so, like, it's either going to be a shit show, maybe it will actually happen, not saying it won't, but it's just weird, like, get the whole, you're asking for a lot of money. There's no ceiling, I don't think. Wouldn't you want to formulate a plan like any normal gaming channel? Okay. Where the people aren't like totally, they're not just getting their affirmation copium every day. If like, let's think of what's like a channel. Like if I finished a video game, who's a great YouTuber, he's just an as if example, he would never do anything like this, but he came out with a video like this because your audience is different and more discerning. Um, they would be like, what the fuck? You're at, like, you have all these different tiers and all these different things for money, but you don't even have the full idea yet. People would be like, fuck you, dude. I'm on subbing from you. This is snake oil shit. These guys are all, and it's kind of the same thing with Fosh. All right. He likes erect horse cock. That's okay. We just agree with everything he says anyway. Groupthink is so weird, man. It's profitable. It is profitable. I don't think anyone here could deny that. And I love my motherfucking money. And I'm not going to lie and say I don't. But what a weird way. I don't know. It's probably why some of them drink. Weird he is in favor of gatekeeping because that is literally what he is criticizing the game awards and shit. That is so true, Griffin. Like, he's he's kind of pulling a fill where he's contradicting himself in in a barely, not even three-minute video. You know what I'm saying? My vision for this also has a... Yeah, I got you, man. ...board of directors to help oversee things. But there are strict rules to be involved with the board. One, they're not allowed to vote. Two, they're not allowed to be on any press list or receive any free video games and or perks. Yeah, that's such a fucking bullshit disingenuous. you. What is the fucking big deal they get a review copy? I've gotten review copies before. Who cares? No one's going to no one's going to ruin their fucking reputation of reviewing games because, ooh, gee golly, I got a $70 game. I don't need to pay my mortgage. I could lie about it. Who? Who's going to do that? Come on. Use what's in your fucking head, bro. Uh, 
he is doing gatekeeping because he is afraid that he and others like him are on the, are in the minority but want to control the narrative. And I'm going to sound like a dick, but... Well... <laughs> That he knows his audience is bought into him so much and they're stupid and they're just going to be like, yeah, anti-woke. And all it is, if it happens, is just going to be the right-wing version of the Game Awards. You think the Game Awards is boring? You're going to think this is boring too. It's just going to be the opposite version of it. Or the right-wing version of it, I mean to say. So stupid. Listen, Ma, he is a trustworthy mod, lost the purge, let's go. Okay, where are you at, bro? Where are you at? But it's not even, dude, like I said in my video today, who, like, does a game award show, awards can be given out, but does a show need to exist at all? I don't really give a fuck about him. That's why E3 is gone, too. Metro Gaming, what's good? So, I mean, even, like, hey, I'll give him credit if it comes out. I'm not saying it's not going to. But if you expect anything, then it's going to be exactly what I fucking said. You'll have, like, fucking, <laughs> what's his name? Razor fist coming down, like walking down the aisle, going, Yeah, man! I hate communism! I would suck off Michael Jackson! Yeah! <laughs> they would complain there's too many black people in a certain game, and that, that there's your show. Congratulations. <laughs> oh from any AAA publishers and three and most importantly they are not allowed to be employed by traditional gaming media hey man i get it video game oh i bet you do all right all right craig come on go in for, so come in for the kill games are a mess right now the so, say there's a problem and tell them you're offering a solution to get the money out of their pockets i did i did i did sales i did furniture sales i did cold calling i know what you're doing industry you love doesn't want you and the traditional media hates you. <gasps> There's the problem. And Craig is here to save you. From something you don't need saving from. We don't need any award shows at all. We don't need it. Rich, what about the Academy Awards? No, it, that's just a Hollywood circle jerk. It's like, oh, oh, thank you for stroking my penis. Oh, stroke my penis too. Thank you, Robert Downey Jr. That's a great hand job. It's all circle jerks. It's an antiquated thing. How people consume their entertainment has evolved and changed. Stop with the awards. They're f it, and Jeff Keighley, you're like you're just trying too hard to put. Vi you're trying too hard to. You're like do it. You're Philip Burnelling the gaming industry. Yes, my breast is shaking. You're trying too hard to make it be taken seriously, and it has the exact opposite effect. And all your stupid fucking award show is is just. A giant advertisement 90% of the time, which this will just be the right wing version of. We let's finish. I, I've been talking about a two minute and change video for like three years now, almost an hour. Thank you for everyone who's here. I appreciate you. And that's why it's time to take games back. So go to TakeGamesBack.com. Take Games Back. You know, it's not like Helldivers 2 was just released, which everyone says is fantastic. Oh, damn it. Wait. Had to slap myself back to reality again. And become a member and help grow this community and help regain our voice. It's now or never. How are these always the people that are always telling everyone to toughen up, but they always use victimhood as a way to profit? It is the most... Ugh, disgusting thing. Like, you swear that oh, toughen up, uh, stop. We, oh, we could, we could mock a marginalized group. They need to just be tougher. Oh, we're so oppressed. Oh my God, we need to have our own game show that no one gives a fuck about. 
Man, yeah, he's no, he's staring directly into your fucking wallet. And I'm not saying he's scamming anybody. He may come out with this show. But again, if you expect it to be anything different than a right wing version of the Game Awards, you are just you're drinking Kool-Aid, man. Anyway, <laughs> an ass man of gold. Look, I still like this guy. I don't know. He's just like one of the sensible reactors that I could sit there. I'm not, I've disagreed with him strongly many times, but. Oh, this girl. I, I guess I should talk about this. This Alex girl Roberts, got suspended on Twitch. This was Hinge? No, no, no. What, what? Did I miss any super chats before we get into this, by the way? I apologize if I do, and I will read them now. My wallet stares back at it with emptiness. I would get the applause if I didn't just spam it. Alex, the wiener is delicious. You just emailed me. Okay. If it's about what I think it is, man, I'll definitely check it out. Uh, he looks like he's going to assault... Who, this guy? No. Nah. He's cool. He has issues. Like, it's he, he may... Actually, no, he not may. He admitted it. He... You know, it's a little thing he does where he takes the blood from his teeth that are probably rotting and wipes it on the wall at night. <laughs> I'm not talking shit. He admitted this. I'm not talking shit. This is out of his mouth. Okay. Um, he also has a hoarding problem, which he kind of admitted to. There was actually one time he was on screen streaming and had a roach on his breast. I'm not kidding. He had a roach and he just took it off and just went on streaming. Time to put the shirt back on. Thank you, by the way. But, like, he's a cool... Like, I think I would, like, hang out with Ass Man of Gold. You know what I mean? Like, he seems like a sensible guy, even with what I just said. As odd as that is. Uh, he spent $50,000 to fix his... T fifty thousand dollars holy mother of christ <laughs> i know he was staring into your wallet he wasn't staring into your soul he was like when i think about you i think about how much money i could take from you oh shit oh shit oh shit let's look at oh fuck thank you i'm an idiot susha oh i have a why do I have a long hair in my eye? You would think I, you would think I got laid. I didn't, sadly. Um, let's look at the website. Who here sometimes keeps their glasses on during sex? Sometimes I do. That's a weird thing to ask, but the hair and saying that made me think of that. So, all right, let's zoom in a little bit because this is super small, like my dick. Um, So, why Take Games Back exists. So, this is the website. This is... That's a man. Um, <laughs> I've spent almost 20 years talking about video games, and the video game industry has never been this crazy. Dude, there was a fucking crash where it almost ceased to exist in 1983. At least in the States, anyway. I always have to say that because people from other countries are like, dude, it didn't happen here, which is true. So that's why I have to use to say that. Um, no, where there's been darker times. I mean, this is, an, this is like second place. And again, because bad decisions combined with everyone got, the industry got fat and greedy during the pandemic. And here we are. Like, it's... It, anyway, so it has been this crazy, Craig. You're as old as me. You know about the other shit. Um, I'm creating Take Games Back because of the glaring chasm between video game developers, the media, and the players themselves. When I think about players, I think about girls. We've all seen it. There is a disdain towards gamers for media and even devs. It's insane. Oh, God, get angry. 
the angrier you are, the more emotional you are, the more chance I could get money from your wallet. We all feel the disconnect and frustration, or you just don't give a shit and play the games you want to play. That's just me. I don't go by any of these fucking award shows to pick out a game. For Christ's sake. Uh, so I'm founding TGB with a clear mission. Let me get the Oblivion music going. I'll get hard. To empower gamers with a voice. I want to ensure your voices are heard and respected in an industry that overlooks your perspectives. Money, please. Oh, excuse me. Um, if you followed my career, you know that I'm a big doer and sometimes... I just hop in a boat without knowing exactly where it's going. I don't have a fucking plan, but I'll take your money now. <laughs> With that said, yes, this website is not great. Oh my God. But it's a starting point where I could take your money. The, it will improve. This is all an idea, but we have to start doing instead of just talking. Otherwise, nothing will happen. When I think about your wallet, I think of my girls. <laughs> Join me as we take games back. I could do good reads too, Craig. You see? I may not spray tan like you, but I'm a good acting man, man. Fuck birds! In the ass. Don't do that. That's disgusting. By the way, check out the picture I found when searching gamer. It really doesn't have anything to do with us. I just put it there because it's funny. Fuck. <laughs> what is going on? Hi. <laughs> what is that? Hi, here's gamer. What does that have to do? Like, oh no, they're putting this picture up of this guy where... He looks like he's, he's mid-shit. Anyway. <laughs> we got monthly support. You just want to support on a monthly, month-to-month -month basis. You get nothing. You get nothing at all. It's not even like, you know, we won't send like a thank you message. Like, think of it like a super chat, Craig. Think of it like that. Like, you can't... See, so that's it? You're not, oh, Whatever. Okay. Maybe he'll send out, like, an automated bot email. So sweet of him. Support and suggest. Suggest category is the future award show. There's a fucking typo. <laughs> uh, so... This is what brought us here, Susha. Then we'll get back to the next video, is Susha. Uh, so this is monthly. Everything else is yearly. So $15 a year. You could suggest categories that they'll probably end up ignoring if they think it's too woke. Uh, this, I think it was Vito that said that this was... <laughs> Thank you, Sean McCarthy. Obligatory... Mm. Mm. This, I believe, according to Vito, was 60. So I could be wrong. Suggest, nominate, and vote on the future award show. Gee golly, what a fucking complete waste. Award show ticket. 150. Dude, I wish we could see how many people signed up to this. Oh, okay, Jostler. <laughs> uh, suggest categories, nominate and attend, and then what? This this number is isn't this like some kind of like edgy gamer thing? Like hello, fellow gamers that he's doing. I don't know what it means. I don't give a fuck. That's why I didn't say anything. I just said he's over thirteen hundred dollars. Suggest, nominate, and vote, and you are listed as a sponsor of the Fuji golly for for over $1300 leet lee oh so it's elite leet 
Fucking kill me. End me. End me. Again, any normal gaming YouTuber who did this would be fucking bodied. Only a grifter could get away with this. This is the stupidest fucking shit I have ever seen in my life. Anyway. Review no more meltdowns, USA. Relax your anus. Try to relax your anus. Anyway. So, cucumbers. I gotta put that back in the soundboard. It always cracks me up how he says that. It's just such a weird thing, man. Like, how do you... That's audacity. Yeah, I'm, yeah I hope... <laughs> I hope you get trending gamer, Rich. Hope I can still make a fucking living doing this in a year. <laughs> I will. I know I'll be fine. But, uh... Yeah, dude. Ah... Oh. What's his name? Not Cyrax. Fuck Cyrax. He's a fucking creepy, basically confirmed pedo. Cobra, dude, the pussy ain't worth it, man. Don't matter how good it is. It ain't worth it. Rub one out into your salad and then eat it. You probably would. <laughs> well, how we'll listen to what she says. Kiss my fucking ass and lick my balls. Bammers the Bam donated $10. Rich, do you think Craig will use the funds to also fund Detractor Con and still have you as a guest? I still <laughs> think he will get the support, and with an exclusive Rumble streaming deal, could make this a semi-big deal. Uh, flap your breast on Craig's face. Oh, uh, flap my breast on Craig's face. You know what? That sounds like a fantastic idea. I will do. Yeah. See... Craig is shit. It is whatever, man. I'm again. I'm not gonna. But it's still a scam either way. Even if the show does come to fruition, again, it's just gonna be a right wing the game awards. That's all it's gonna be. So it's just a fucking. You don't think he's gonna make sure that he's not saying he's not profiting from any of that money. You don't think it's gonna be minimum. Investment, maximum profit, unless he changes something in the in. Yeah, just, Chris Chan said Fantas are on the house with extra protein. Drink up. Where is J Fat? Say something now to save me from having to look for you. I'm too. Uh... Have it? Have I survived? Eh, let's let's not talk about it. Um. J Fett, where are you? Say something now. If you're a man and you're here. The thing is, I'm pretty sure, and I could be wrong about this. Some of them wrong, I'll take it back. I don't even really think Craig fucking games. I think he's like he he I remember he was on he did a podcast with me. It's boring, we're not gonna watch it. Uh where he's like, yeah, I'm not into the current gen shit, so what are you? How do you feel so attacked, Mister Gamer? If you're not playing fucking modern games anyway, if you're just playing like PS2 games, you have fun. What's up, Terrence? How are you, bro? Hope you are well. You know, I think he said, "Go watch it." It's boring as hell. I'm telling you, it's boring. Um. But I'm pretty sure he said he doesn't really, he's not into modern gaming, as far as I could remember. That sin is not an identity. And. But. <sighs> Revere, you're going to pause the video every three tenths of a second, but I have to. That. You cannot tell other consenting adults how to live. It's not. That is what freedom is. So long as no one is getting harmed and it, it, people are of legal age to consent. Beyond that, you could disagree with it. You could do whatever you want to. I know this is something I'm going to be like a broken fucking record. You 
talk about your freedoms being taken away while you want to take away other people's freedom. Shh. Why does he have... What is this? He used to have barbecue sauce up behind him. At least he's stepping it up. LGBT is not an identity. It's not real. It is all sin that goes <laughs> against God's design. So society move to a country where they live by their religion go away no one's keeping you here separation of church and state was in the foundation of this nation oh god i sound like a corny middle-aged white rapper that's it's exactly what i would be Yeah, I hate her, but she fascinates me too. A lot of people want to see her deplatformed. I strongly disagree with that. She is entertaining. Uh, for the wrong reasons. Like, yeah, her takes are horrible. She's a horrible human being. But it's kind of like a car wreck, man. You can't look away. And I just can't help roasting her has called this sin an identity to normalize it. Is she stoned? She's talking more slurred than me. Is she on the sauce or something? Andrew Ro N Normally lies it. Oh, maybe the super chat interrupted her for her. I'll give her credit. Oh, thank you so much. Ten? Ten gifts? Oh, we got to find the simp. We got to find the simp. All right. We'll find after this. Because I know it'll derail for a bit. Did cake subs, thank you. But yeah, the concept of sexualities Sorry. isn't I'm real. Look over here. There is what God designed. Oh my God, which my is porn. A husband and a wife. Where is she talking? And then there's sin. Oh that no, I fucked it. it up. The whole notion Sorry, and guys. concept of oh, everybody has different sexualities. That was designed I to can't normalize find it. sin. And that's also a slippery slope. Sorry. Because of pervs out there who I have to be careful. Man, that fucked everything. The that fucked everything up. I just wanted to go look for something. The of what she's saying is that if you're okay with gay people, then some people that are pedophiles will try to touch kids. I That's what up. she's saying. We know the slippery slope. We know exactly what she's implying. Yep. He's That's right. what she's saying how I 100%. phrase things because of um you know social media censorship youtube censorship but just think about it people can whenever this whole idea doesn't of, bother oh, me yeah, i'll say it sexualities well that's a big umbrella of term and people can apply that where to, is it what are you talking about people get mad at me look this up this is an extremely common uh, line of argumentation this is extremely extremely common Anybody who's been following this 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 Come discourse on. over the last like 15 years will agree with me. If you just started paying attention to this stuff and you know you're 19 or something like that in the chat, you probably don't get the context of it. Oh, is worse it gone? and worse and worse really? things like but, yes, things. Absolutely. Isn't Let's just say history? for the purpose of YouTube, I like all worse things like unspeakable things. Umbrella of term and people can apply that to. How about you kiss my fucking ass worse and, worse and lick and my balls? Things, like unspeakable things. Amorinth mommy milkers so this donated again. ten dollars. Gotta love the internet. I found a dumb fuck army vet in his thirties who was arrested for stealing his neighbor's cereal while drunk. I don't know, but he thinks a moderator who watches a VTuber and Belle Delphine is trying to kill him. Portland ain't gangsta boy. That's either mental illness, drugs, or both. It's kind of sad in a way. You know what I mean? Let me look for one more second. Ah, oh, God damn it. I can't find it. There was a guy. Of course, it's not going to be in my history because it would be so fucking epically amazing. That was flat out simping for Melanie Mack. He had like 80 something subscribers. I think 89. And she was looking and she was in the comments thanking him. So that means she was, act she was like I said, a Tommy Tellerico looking for people to defend her. I'm like, oh, God, that says so much about you. So, so much. 
You are exactly who I thought you were. Uh, Craig playing Sonic on the Soldier console, AK120. I'm pretty sure, like I said, this is probably like the 20th time I said it, I know. I'm pretty sure that he said he's like, he's not into modern gaming. So you're going to sit there and all of a sudden now you're a white knight for the modern gaming industry that you don't really care about anyway. But again, when you're in that, he's doing well with the grift. Give him credit. I didn't think he was going to, but he linked up with the right people. He's like, hey, man, I'm going all in. And you could fucking you could sell them a shit sandwich and they will tell you it's the most delicious meal they ever had in your life. Because once they're bought into that with you, whatever you sell, they will buy in spades. It's a brilliant business model. It's a pretty shitty thing to do. Again, I have to repeat, I'm no angel, but I ain't doing shit like that. Um... There is so much money. There's money, not as much, nearly. Anyone who says otherwise, like, stop. Don't do the whataboutism stuff. But there's the group think, and there's people that profit from the group think in the left wing, too. There is. You know what I mean? What's up, sales? How you feeling today? I'm, I'm alive. I watched your stream when I was at work. After you were done, it was good four hours. <laughs> it was a stream. It was a stream. That happened. Um, anyway, let's get back. Let's get back. Cucumbers. To you. you you see what she's implying, right? She's implying that because you're born with your sexuality, then anything that you're born with is okay. Well, this is clearly not true, and nobody really thinks this. But even, like, say... You're a dude or a woman in your entire life. You thought you were attracted to a man or a woman. Then you're like, you know what? I'm 40 and I think I'm gay. Okay, if it's another consenting adult, what the fuck does it matter to you? Either way, what the fuck does it matter? Why are you gay? There are plenty of things that people are born with that, for example, they can't do. Like if you're born blind... Alex How Roberts, about you thank kiss you for my the smiley ass. ass and lick the my smiley balls. ass. May 1st for Stand Thirst donated $10. Oh, you God. said you'd unban me back in 2007, you fat P-H-U-Q. You fat, who, who are you? You fat fuck. Well, thank you. I appreciate you calling me a fat fuck. Thank you so much. Oh. I don't know if you actually are banned or you're just joking. I have no idea who the fuck you are. <laughs> and you probably can't get a driver's license. So just because you're born a certain way doesn't mean society has to accommodate it. That's never how things have worked. It's such a crazy thing to say. In Canada, you can. There's no way, right? There's no way that's true, right? Yeah, you could think it's weird, but it doesn't matter. If it's whatever two consenting adults want to do, so long as it's not illegal or harming anybody else, who cares? That is the last thing I will lose sleep about at night. That... No, he's dumb. Okay, all right, good. I mean, it's Canada, so, like, I, I don't know, but all right. Hey, for the purpose of YouTube, I... Okay. I'll just say, like, animals, for example. People can say, well, that's my... You see what she's implying. Sexuality, like, they're attracted to dogs like that or something. No, that's not the same. It, it, that is a serious issue if you are attracted to an other species than yours. No. It is not healthy to want to mate with a horse. Okay? That's not the same fucking thing as a man being attracted to another man. Like, stop the bullshit. Fucking believable. Uh, Troll McTrollington, I have done extensive research about hardcore same-sex relationships, and they do this thing called firsting. 
and I like it because they are on drugs, so I tried it as well for... What the fuck are you talking about? So you were, like, snorting coke and having butt sex? I hope you... Hey, if you enjoyed yourself, God bless. So, no. Melanie, let's keep it 100. A person wanting to have sex with an animal is weird and unhealthy and is not okay. It is not the same thing as a man being attracted to another man or a woman being attracted to another woman. You are fucking stupid. Thank you. Have a great day. Please come again. <laughs> yeah, but the dog didn't consent. That's the difference. Yeah, everyone brings it up, and it's so true. Coming from a woman having tattoos all over her arm, and she talks about God and sin. Yeah, they cherry-pick a lot. They cherry-pick a lot. And she's a uh, hypocrite at its finest. I mean, why is she so obsessed? I've heard conspiracy theories. I, I just say I heard conspiracy theories. I don't talk about them because I have nothing to substantiate the evidence. Um... I one thing I will just say that everyone I think could notice that she kind of in a way had like did a boogie where once her marriage kind of went to shit and combined with I think her getting booted from GameStop at least from what I'm seeing from the outside in it could have been something else too kind of made her lose her shit and she's like hey I'll make money grifting off the right wing it's not your fault you don't get laid it's the gay people. <laughs> anyway, let's continue with uh, cucumbers and my hairy ass. No, thank you. Like, it's so crazy to me that. How do you not understand the difference between consenting adults and not like I, I, I don't. How is it? She doesn't care. Her audience doesn't care too. And it's like and I wish I could find the proof of that video that she was can I find what she's commented on, maybe? Where he was simping for her and she's sitting there eating it up. It's so sad. I'm so pissed I lost it. I should have saved that shit. Did I maybe? Possible that people still can't figure this out. It's right. nuts. Right. Um, she doesn't care, Asmongold. So, please, so please, that's please, why please, I. Please. That's what I, I don't know. Fuck. It just hit me today. Uh, it hit me. I felt it in my spirit. Oh fuck your spirit! I felt. I felt it in my spirit. I have to hate gay people. <laughs> I'm not. Just to let you know, I'm not just like sexting i'm trying to find that video so i'm not sitting here on my screen and stopping the flow because it's a banger for, for regarding her sexualities aren't real that's it's where i'm looking right now i wonder what these people would do if an actual theocracy took over <laughs> guys who here is enough of a fucking boomer to remember uh, the satanic panic. Yep. I remember that very well. With Pokemon. So what happens whenever the theocracy takes over and they just decide to burn her for being a witch that supports witchcraft and monsters? Why not? I mean, you want to run things based off the Bible. You want to make decisions based off what the Bible and what I these books that are thousands of years old think to do. Go on ahead. But the idea that and a girl she like is. this with tattoos all over her that is wearing a low-cut t-shirt with what's considered to be a demon by some people that are religious, she somehow thinks that she's going to be living in a utopia. If there's a theocracy, she is so delusional and out yeah, it's so true. Man, he is just slaying it right now. They would be off with her head. Off with her head. She would be one of the first on the chopping block. And me too. Some people will be very pleased with that.
You want to live under a king, bitch? You be the first to be fucked. Not like that. Me too. Out of her fucking mind, it is amazing to me. Yeah, she would literally be fucking stoned. That's what you want? Think real hard. But I guess the money's nice and green right now, right? Throw away democracy to line your bank account. Well, what else is new? I wish people like this, we could get together and do a GoFundMe to send them to the most religiously restrictive country in the world. And then they Oh my god, he is bodying her. Absolutely bodying her. I didn't see all this yet. Holy shit, dude. They can stay there and they'll be happy. Send them to the Taliban. Send them to ah. ISIS. And then maybe, maybe they'll understand why things are the way they are. Did she say she wanted theocracy? Um, I wouldn't be shocked if she actually said it. There's some of these right-wingers that do say it. I think that's clearly what you're implying. Whenever you are implying that some things should not be accepted socially, you are also implying that those things should not be accepted through the laws. God, is that true? Is that what they do? Or did? Or probably still do in some countries. Really? Yeah, they kick you off a cliff. If you fly, you'll be okay. Don't worry, you're a witch, right? You'll be good. <laughs> Just get your fucking broomstick, bitch. You'll be okay. Because the laws and the social norms of a society are a uh, feedback. Duty, you have to learn to think beyond your of, dick. Of each other? Like, it doesn't matter left or right wing, man. No, no amount of good pussy outdoes lunacy. I've had good pussy. I've had mad pussy. I've had crazy and good pussy. That's the reason why I'm single. And so, yes, I think that's exactly what she would say. I think that if if you asked a, per a girl like this, you asked her, do you want to have religion play a bigger part in government? I think she... Oh, she would do a backflip for it until she actually got the reality of it. Or maybe, like I said, she doesn't care. Gentleman Wolf, thank you for the gifted membership. I appreciate that. How about you kiss my fucking ass and lick my balls? Absolutely. Amorant's mommy milkers donated $10. She's hot, but holy fuck, you're a hypocrite. I am Christian, but I know I'm not some fucking saint. Two hours before my final exam started. I felt it in my spirit to beat my ex's pussy up. Still got a B plus. She was crazy as fuck. Glad I ain't marry her ass. Yeah, dude, that's a thing. And like you always see like these celebrities, just in general, doesn't matter internet or whatever, and they break up with hot women or whatever, and they're like, oh my god, I would never. Would you say that if maybe she was throwing a fucking chair at you because you came home five minutes late and she's insanely jealous and thought you were with someone else? Would you say that because you had to stay at work an hour late so she decided to key your fucking car because she thought you were with another woman? It You would instantly go flaccid and be like, I'd rather stick my dick in a wood chipper than you again. Just saying. She'd probably say, yeah. I think I thank you, gentlemen, I do. but thank and you also, again. She lives in a society... Where she doesn't get harassed and attacked for the way that she behaves and dresses. So it's easy for her to say this. Uh. I talk to girls that have grown up in countries like, for example, Turkey, where they were body shamed by their own uh, family members for wearing shorts. Physically shamed. As it's so fucking weird. As well, And she has the privilege of living in a country where that doesn't happen. And she wants to pull the ladder up and take that privilege away from other people. We've worked very hard to get where we're at. And it's disappointing that so many regressive people like this are trying to bring us back into the dark ages. That's what I need to roast people more calmly like him. <laughs> what I think. Devil may cry. Oh, yeah. Is that, that is true. That's a good point. That's a devil may cry. I think this is the devil may cry, isn't it? 
Yes, that's yeah, I'm Dante. Pretty sure that's Absolutely. Devil May Cry. I'm sure another favorite of uh <laughs> another dude, but they the people the simps who watch her which we're about to see, they don't care. They don't give a fuck. They don't think. They just look at her and get hard. I'm telling you, you're about to literally see a receipt that I have to prove this. Like, Rich, you don't know what you're... Oh, really? I don't know what I'm talking? Yes, you know, you could argue semantics. He may be the exception. Go look when she posts something like, God loves you and so do I. Go look at the replies. It's a bunch of men stroking their penises with one in one hand and typing on Twitter with their thumb on their phone with the other. Their favorite of all of the most religious people. It's Dante. You're hard now. Right. Oh, my God. She wants it to be less liberal, not become a dark age. The moment that you restrict what adults can do with other consenting adults is the moment that the dark age begins. And Bad also, Amber Star, please. that's always the way things start. Yeah, who decides what's less liberal? And this is the problem that people have, is they always think about it from that perspective. Incest? I don't know what the incest laws are everywhere. I have no idea. How about you kiss uh, my fucking ass and lick my balls? Solid Crusader Mega Fawaz donated $10. My man said it right, brother. Oh, but Marjorie Green and Lauren Bobbert will be very pleased of her regardless having tattoo or not all over her arm and breasts. Imagine yeah. she talks about God and sin on Halloween night while wearing witch dress. Wow, Wop more... and far. Wow. More conservative women that are complete hypocrites? Wasn't like Lauren Bober jerking off a dude in a movie theater too? <laughs> like, did, did Jesus tell you to do that? <laughs> Maybe we have some... Uh... <laughs> I, I want... Well... I, she did something with a dude in a theater. All right, we won't make that joke, okay? I, I was gonna, yeah, no, I, I don't know about that. Cocaine and heroin? Uh, I would, uh, I, I, actually, like, if you want me to be totally honest, yeah, I, I would make it to where being a drug addict is legal. I would, because drug addiction is a, uh, you're, you're a victim of drug addiction. And yeah, I mean, look, there's some places in Canada that are handling it like shit. But if a, if a program is pro, there are countries that do it well. Um, where if you legalize drugs, it actually the drug usage goes down, and also people can get cleaner. They get clean, regulated products, so it's there's less of a chance of them overdosing or getting sick or dying. And then uh, also access to clean needles. You know, bloodborne illnesses are still, AIDS is still very much a thing, you know. And I would make it to where it was legal. And that way they could be treated as victims rather than criminals. I also think that you know... Yeah, but uh, privatized jails are still a thing, I believe. And even there's money to be made in the prison industry. That's the problem. Longer become a consenting adult whenever you introduce a chemical addiction, especially one that's as strong as something like heroin or fentanyl. Now, obviously, like, there's a certain level of chemical addiction with, for example, like, caffeine. Isn't there something out there now that's actually stronger than fentanyl, which is fucking insane? That's insane. That's about, imagine that hits the streets. People are dying now. Unmod me, ban me. Oh, God. I know good jokes are going to come in. I just, I'm just, I have a small dick. That's, a, that's all I say. In or sugar. But to compare that with heroin is like, uh, you know, it's not really the same thing. Well, that's Trank you're talking about, Seals. That's Trank. I was watching uh, Channel 5. Glad he's back. It is what it is. You know, he's not going to jail or anything. Whatever. Let's move on. Um, he actually interviewed like the, the Trank brothers. They're like, they really control the area around there. And it's crazy dude. people's bodies are like 
literally disintegrating. It's unreal. Sorry, here goes who's smoking symbiotes. Yeah, there was that other drug that kind of I stopped hearing about it. It was a problem in Russia, too. Something that still like, sound like alligators or something like that, where people's flesh was rotting off. Crocodile or something, I think, maybe. No, Shrank is different. Shrank is different. Similar, seems like a similar outcome, but it's different. Do I still have shooting ropes? I better. <gasps> no. Shooting ropes? Tacoma wept. <laughs> Actually, that kind of works. On some alien kush, they'll show the future and shit. Crocodile, yeah. It's like made, I don't even know what it's made of, man. It's. I saw the effects of it. I think it was a Vice video I watched where they were in Russia looking into that crocodile or whatever it is. And Jesus Christ. Yeah, she was jerking off a dude in the theater, but she's in the party of God and country and, and stroking out loads. <laughs> <laughs> she probably does give a good hand job, I will say. Um, uh, it's a completely different universe. So, yeah, uh, either way, uh, the girl got suspended for this. And uh, Lauren Boebert was in a movie theater. They caught her on camera. She got in trouble, too, didn't she? Not like legally, but she was beating off whatever dude she was dating in a theater, I believe. They were doing something. He was like playing with her tits or something. So you can look it up. They were groping. Could we just at least agree on they were groping each other? It's very sad to see people that. Um, it's like I'm not really even sure how to explain the best perspective for this. But it's just very odd for me to see people. It's like a fish that lives in water complaining oh. about a sea. It's like you don't even understand. Damn, he's like a fucking philosopher in this one, man. He's just like, it's just like flawless victory, fatality kind of shit. Understand where you are. You don't understand the existence that you live in. Like, if it was a Beetlejuice music. She was beating him off at a Beetlejuice musical. Stop. Stop it. Oh, for Christ's sake. Oh my god, she was beating off a dude at a Beetlejuice musical. Because of course, because it's 2024, it was in 2023 I think, but of course, why not? The party of God and country, and they'll beat each other off at, oof, at Beetlejuice musicals. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god, man, I need to go to bed. Things were the way that the people that want I'm not yet, don't worry. Wanted things to, the, the way that she wanted people to be in power. If it was the way that they wanted them to be, she wouldn't be able to do this. That's it. Let me ask before I put the time in, not that it would be that much time, it would actually be fairly simple. Would you guys watch like if I got my DK Oldies video? Um put time markers on it and like did like a marathon video with time markers. Would that be something you'd be interested in? Kind of like it's the DK oldies marathon of such. Yeah. Poll poll. What am I doing? Why am I asking? Just put up a poll, start a poll. Oh, I had caps lock on, so it looked like I was an edgy 12-year-old. Would you watch a DK Oldies marathon video? Why am I saying it out loud like Kip from Napoleon Dynamite? Sandy hair. Why don't you see all the freaking chips, Kip? Napoleon, don't be jealous because I've been chatting online with hot babes all day. Besides, there's more, there's more cheese in the refrigerator.
Um, I super chatted Wings Molto and banned me on Lol Cal. Yes, Jim, still banned. Oh, come on, Wings. You've been getting good with the humor. Just take the hits, dude. Just take them. Oh, wow. There's a, that's some, actually, I thought it would be more 50-50-ish. It's out of touch. It, and it's just, it's crazy how out. And even if it bombs, it'll be one of those slow burners. So who cares? It's still worth it. Okay, 70%. Out of touch, some people are. Crazy how many comments agree with her, actually. There's a lot of people that agree with her because. Yeah, if you're wondering about that major video that I have done. I've shown the receipt that it's done. I'm not bullshitting. I, I've said before earlier in the stream when there was less people here, I'm going to let things subside a little bit before putting it up. Um, I think I also, too, want to get a sponsor for it. I have one in mind. I won't mention them yet. Uh, they would be a perfect fit for it, and it would be nice to be in an evergreen video. I think they would be interested. I'm going to actually probably talk to them tomorrow. It's LGBT representation feels artificial in our culture, and so people are pushing back against it. I don't think that most people actually care about whether somebody's gay or not. They're just fighting a culture war against artificial. I actually think Sarah Palin's hotter. Or at least back in the day she was. She's still actually pretty hot grandma. LGBT representation. So unfortunately. Yeah, I'm going to get better help. Oh, God, that was another drama I was in. Didn't even realize it. Because, uh, 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 oh, what was that? Uh, that, that an, oh, that involved my friend, Andy Worski. Because I was like, unless someone pulls like a Gerard from The Completionist, which he's a scumbag for doing, okay? Like, my thing is, and I still mostly hold to this take, and look, BetterHelp is still around now, so they can't be as shady as everyone was making them out to be. It's like, why does like everyone hold YouTubers so up to such a higher standard than major network television about who they have as sponsors? Well, Cutting Edge Gamer is still around. I actually, the last GPU I rented from them was a 3090. I actually used them recently, so that's not that long ago. But it was like, I, I just don't understand the double standard of where they like YouTubers are held so accountable. Now, of course, <clears throat> if you're doing something, why did I amplify the burp? If you're doing something like the CSGO Lotto or what Gerard the Completionist did, that's different. You're scumbags. But like, you have a sponsor, they come do an offer for it. You know, he gets hit up with an email and you like you look into them, they seem okay. You know, I mean, you're not, people don't have research teams, they're just a YouTuber. And you find something out, out, else out later. Now, look, we found out with Philip DeFranco, he had more involvement. Okay. I was just like, so what? He has a sponsor who gives a shit. Raid Shadow Legends. I actually had them as a sponsor once, and then they told all of us to take the video down. It's very weird. It wasn't just my YouTube channel. It was. It wasn't like someone like canceled my fucking sponsor. Like, I had a email. Like, yeah, every single person who put that ad up, you have to take it down. People really don't like it. Oh, okay. You'll. You'll. I think I still got paid for that. It was very weird. Uh, oh, duty definitely wants to bang Sarah Palin. I would bang Sarah Palin. That was something I just said. But yeah, I don't I mean, look, if you don't want to pay for it yeah, obviously how it works when you rent a GPU from Cutting Edge Gamer, they make money because if you're renting it, there's obviously a premium to that because you're not paying for it all up front. But if you don't have the money to pay for it all up front or if you're well, I haven't really changed GPUs that much, but times are different now uh, because they don't come out with GPUs as often. But when they did, it was a I liked it. So. Like I said, my last one from them was a 3090, and at the 13th month, you end up owning it. Yeah, you paid more, but now it's yours. It's, you're no longer leasing. It's your card. You throw the baby out with the bathwater, and you're also fighting against just common gay rights that I think most normal, rational wow, people agree with. And also, you have to keep in mind that I have a global audience. There are a lot of people that watch me from America and Western countries, but there's also a lot of guys that watch me from Middle Eastern countries, too. And over there, 
what her opinion is. That's the fucking law. Yep. And if I went over there, I would respect their laws. That's They can do what they want to do. That's their right. It's crazy. Decently familiar with the content, which she's definitely not saying people shouldn't be allowed to be gay or whatever. Just that she should be allowed to not like it. Talks about it a lot. You can like and not like anything that you want. And you don't have to justify your opinions to anyone. But when you put your pers Yeah, but her opinion is her bread and butter. She's not going to stop. That's... I can't wait to hear. She responds to this on the Side Scrollers podcast. I want to hear their common sense take on this. I'm sure I will lose IQ points. Let's go. Perspective out there in the public space, and you're advocating for a certain perspective in life, you should expect that other people will evaluate that perspective. Uh, my conservative do donor is Gabe Newell. Birds. Shooting ropes. Eat shit out of my fucking ass. Eat shit out of my fucking ass. Eat shit out of my fucking ass. Oh, man. Eat shit out of my fucking ass, baby. And think about it for themselves. I'm not saying that she isn't allowed to have her opinion. If she wants to hate gay people, that's her right to hate gay people. But if she wants to talk about why... I gotta take that shit off the soundboard. I don't want to hit that shit by accident. <laughs> she hates gay people. And why it's... Justify it. Then it is absolutely my right. Especially in a pub... Oh yeah, I have right-wing think tanks in my pocket, man. I got fo three Ferraris outside. Shit ain't nothing to me, man. Book space to say that I think that she's wrong. She doesn't hate gay people. Sorry, uh, w w w what's the word for it? Dislike, dislikes their- No, she just thinks they're gonna burn in hell and they need to be saved. Their lifestyle, whatever you wanna say. But is it bannable? Um, I, I don't know. I mean, whether Twitch- I, I think that people should be allowed to say what they want to say unless they're uh, calling for violence. Cucumbers. Uh, whether Twitch should ban something like this or not, I don't really care about it a whole lot. My owner is Uncle Gubsy. After the PS5, I'm going to do that. That video I'm going to do with my dad. Rich, why are you doing with your dad? You can't gut a PS5 by yourself? Yes, I can, but my OCD will make me sweaty and very angry. I could build a computer. I've made videos, and I've done live streams of me building computers. When it comes to proprietary hardware, I admit I suck dick. My dad does not suck dick. Wait. How could you take that back? I can't. I can't take those words back. I can't take back me crying, crying shirtless. <laughs> oh, God, kill me. No, don't. No, please don't kill me. Uh, but you get what I'm saying. My dad is better with proprietary hardware because he's worked with so much proprietary shit all his life. He is going to be there on here dissecting the PlayStation 5 and everyone in the comments is going to say he looks younger than me. <laughs> so that video and DK Oldies was at 69% uh, damn man yeah and that old video that even if it bombs in the beginning will definitely get picked up in the algorithm cool. And like I said, I have people interested in doing clips here. Super easy, offering a thousand a month. We could have a discussion about how much you would do as a workload that you're comfortable with. It's fairly easy work, especially if you watch my channel because you'll know exactly what the clip and it's not heavy duty editing at all. Just gotta make sure I trust you so you don't upload fucking porn to my YouTube channel and get me banned. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. Here we go. A lot. And in my opinion, I actually wish that they didn't ban this stuff as much. Because I think that uh, Sun... Yeah, let him talk and let him cook. I think it's easy. It would be like a 
for the days that you do work, like I said, we would talk about uh, what days, what you be comfortable with. You know, it's not even really, it's bare minimum editing. You know, it's like this. If not less. Light is the best disinfectant. I think that the more people see what people like this are talking about and they see the transparent double standards that exist in the things that they say, I think that that act. Nah, do you know why I wouldn't take that? First off, that's too little money. Um, and I don't even know when I could game. Like, when I have time right now, I have to play Elden Ring. I just, I can't, that's all I'll say. Because I always talk too fucking much. Actually helps way more than banning people. And I think that a great example of that is COVID. Like, there are a lot of, like, just total misinformation things that people said about COVID. But because some things that people said, or whenever people expressed a certain level of distrust for the official narrative, and then they got deplatformed, people started actually believing the real disinformation and the real fake information. And the reason for that is because people don't want to be told, I think, in our society, people don't want to be told what they can and can't hear. They don't want to be told what they can and can't. Yes, I did think they want to be presented with what the options are and then choose for those options what they want to believe in. It's totally fine for her to be religious and have whatever opinions that she wants. But the moment that you go and you introduce, I saw introduce those opinions to a public space and you have these like just absolute. Yeah, dude, that's too little. I think thousand like keemstar said is fair 500 is too little that would be just me fucking beat it you know i mean again the argument could be made like yesterday like something else we were talking about if the person's happy the person's happy but the work is more than 500 dollars a month worth let's keep it real absolutely just transparently like bullshit contradictions people are going to call them out and they're going to disagree with you. I would say her comment was taken out of context by a lot of people. She's religious, and for religious people, the LGBT community is a sin. But she, a long time ago, told me that she doesn't hate, and as a religious person, should not hate other people. I disagree. I would believe... She's full of hate. She always does that thing. Like, I have a gay friend, and I'll hug them. Like, no, you, but you think they're going to burn in hell. You mock them. You say, essentially, their, their sexual preference is equivalent to them being attracted to animals. Like, no, you despise them. Believe that? If she didn't make the argument that... Yeah, I may even hire an attorney to write something up. Isabel. Being okay with being gay leads to being okay with being a pedophile. Which is clearly what she made... It's clearly what she was alluding What's to. What's up, Alex? How she are didn't want to say it because of censorship. Guys, I say a lot of really bad stuff all the time. I don't have a problem with it. Yeah, she always alludes to that. She always alludes to I think it was when David Jaffe was on again. She was saying the same shit. How much of that actually happens in the church? Catholic church. Wait, she said that? She She's Christian, I know. She clearly implied that. Any reasonable person could see this and see that she implied it. Oh, this girl. All right, so we... Why is it in a different tab? Where all do my tabs go? Is that it? Ah, here we go, I think. Yes. Side scrollers. This is it. And I was. Everything I was sharing, like you can pull those principles from the Bible. So it's like my my religion is called hate speech to them, and and that is just absurd to me. Oh, here we here we go. Twitch. Now this has been <laughs> we again. No, it's the same one. It's the same one from the other day. We haven't had. <laughs> Oh, Chris Gore, this is the hill you want to die on? Okay. John, we haven't had, had you on to let you talk about this. Right. Um, so, you know, I know we saw the clip 
that you posted on your YouTube. I mean, whatever. Who knows? Maybe he's being surprised with. I don't know enough about him. I haven't seen him in a while. YouTube channel. Uh -huh. uh, and then we saw Asthma Gold come in and, and do his yeah. thing and talk about this. And, and you put a very like nice response out on X saying, like, you don't have anything harsh to say about right. it. Right. <laughs> oh, is it maybe because he has a huge fucking following and is significantly more relevant than me and it would be very detrimental to your career? I mean, granted, I was more aggressive towards you significantly. That must also be said. I understand. I still don't think if he was like, more aggressive towards her, though, she would have been like this. Because she would kiss his ring because of the following, and she would hope that maybe she could get something from it. That's how the hierarchy and bullshit of the entertainment industry works. Hi. Now you know some of the shop talk. And I thought this was really... I would just love for you to kind of talk about this experience and... Okay. Wait, is there a video? Am I doing this out of order? Oh, is this the same video? Yes, it is. Okay. So get rid of this bullshit. Just in general. Yeah, so basically I was multi-streaming on Twitch, Cake, and YouTube because a lot of people are like, well, why don't you stream on YouTube now? Why don't you stream on Cake now? I already was multi-streaming to all three platforms. Twitch gave me a two-week ban. The other two platforms didn't do it. Craig just looks into your soul when he does these live streams. <laughs> oh my god blabs looks disinterested breaking news <laughs> uh. anything um so basically uh before i started my stream i just had a candid discussion uh that was involving the lgbt identities things like that and me being a christian i was sharing my perspective biblically around that but the problem is is that you're trying to make it that your your opinion is the status quo that's where the hang up is ma'am that's the problem you can like i think ass man of gold said this you can like or dislike whatever the fuck you want to but we don't have to follow your fucking book. We don't. And that's like what she, in her mind, which irony, devil may cry, tattoos. Again, like he said, those are his talking points. You want to get a government in place where they use religion to write the laws? You'd be fucked. You'd be destroyed. And, um, and because of that twitch didn't like it twitch called it hate speech even though i did not call for any sort of violence i didn't call for people doesn't and i wish could you could these fucking platforms stop doing it you're just giving them a reason to be a victim and they make more of a profit off of it christ i mean obviously there has to be limits with things i'm not saying that either but Look at what happens. Now she could bitch about it. Everyone's in all the simps. Oh, my God, you poor little thing. Come here. Let me show you my penis. Well, to harass people or anything like that. It was just like, hey, this is what the Bible says. This is what I believe. And uh, and so, yeah, <laughs> so that happened. Then Christ, that voice. I literally, I watch each time. When she talks, I lose viewership, and I don't blame the people that leave. <laughs> it's like clockwork. Osmongold reacted to it. He built a giant straw man argument. What was the straw? How, how? It was a very valid argument. Around. <laughs> then laser off your tats, bitch. Sue is savage, man. It. Um and he got colossally ratioed on his clips channel <laughs> last i checked it was at like three hundred thousand views in almost all the comments let's check that uh 
Yes, I was watching a hawk early to edible. Um, that's my dog, by the way. <laughs> Let's check. Cucumbers. Recently, things are becoming anti-Christian. Responding to Melanie. All right, I gotta go here. Oh, there's another video with him and with Melanie Mac. Melanie Mac. All right, so. Let me see this video. This is the one, right? Yes. Give me the link. Share. Copy. I have a plugin on my Chrome browser. Uh, I know it's wrong, but it feels. He didn't get. That's not ratioed. I got ratioed yesterday. That's not a ratio. That ain't a fucking. That's a fart in the wind. Anyway. No, ratioed is when there's more dislikes than likes. At least that's my definition of a ratio. Like, even if it was, like, 14,000 dislikes and 16,000 likes or whatever, technically it's still not a ratio. Nice try, though. All right, so I'll open this up. and uh, I'll open up Captain Cucumbers and another one. Yes. And, and I uh, get rid of this. Get rid of... Oh, wait, let me see if I have this in my history now. Where the hell is it? Let me send it to myself. Or I could do this, actually. Asmund Gold punches down. That's why I remembered it. My favorite term. Here it is. Do something. And he is exactly what you would think he would look like. Anyway. So that's him responding. We didn't watch that yet, right? No. We're going to watch this. And let's go. I had my back from people, whether they agreed with me or didn't. They were like, some people who didn't agree with me were like, hey, we may not agree with this, but she shouldn't be banned. Wait, did he become like some kind of right winger or something? I mean, he's just on the show, whatever. It doesn't necessarily mean that, but for her religious beliefs and for expressing her religious beliefs. Um, and so, yeah, I, even though. But you're not just expressing your beliefs. I, with evidence, you were literally trying to get people into a discord to talk to like fucking preachers or whatever, or pastors to try to convert them away from being gay. In that video where a church burnt to the ground, go watch the ending. So it's not just you expressing your opinions either. You're trying to literally kind of groom people. I can't, maybe that's the wrong word, but. Um, Asmongold did. <laughs> oh, he used to do G4 back in the day. Interesting. I have a lot of negative things to say about my take and about me and all that kind of stuff. I didn't take it personal because I think ultimately I was more happy that he showed it and my message got out there. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> that's how I took it. It was like, I would rather people hear me out and disagree with me than not even hear me out at all. And so it's like, okay, he played it. He let me say what I. That is such a lie. So why were you. Why were you looking on affirmation, which I'm about to show proof? I love when I catch people with receipts on videos. You were looking up your name, Melanie Tellerico. 
I said, he said what he said. He's allowed to disagree. I think that he was being unreasonable, but it's fine. I don't expect everybody to agree with me and he can disagree with me. I'm not going to have an issue with that. And um, so that's why I made the statement that I did about him. I was like, I don't have anything mean to say about him. I wasn't ever mad at him. Craig does look like he had some Squidward. For making that. Um, I, I was glad that he did. <laughs> so. She's not doing any counter arguments. You realize that? At all. In the slightest. There is no counter arguments being made here. It's just, thanks for the publicity. Yes, I'm a bitch. <laughs> like nothing. There is nothing here. Substantial. It's all good to me. And and I don't give a crap about Twitch. Some people are celebrating and like, yay, oh, okay, now you're gonna have to start an OnlyFans and it's just a joke. Like Twitch was my lowest revenue source. I, and I, I wasn't even streaming on there for the longest time. And I was like, oh, they allow multi-streaming now? Might as well multi-stream there. So I don't give a crap. Like I told, I made a, a clip and tagged twitch on it and i was like you're gonna have to ban me longer than that and then i dropped my favorite word um so <laughs> <laughs> oh brilliant comedic brilliance man that rumble contract is going to be coming in piping hot in no time <laughs> so it's like go ahead perma ban me i don't give a crap i don't need twitch twitch is a dying platform anyway um so hey that's just what it is <laughs> do you feel yeah. You know what's funny? Before he lost his mind back in the day, where he was like, "Oh, this is like he ended up trying to come back as like a podcaster, and not be in this all this right wing shit." It didn't work out, I guess. And then uh, he went to work at like some company that didn't work out. I don't know if he got fired. I don't know if he quit. I think he quit, from what I heard. Who knows? Who gives a fuck? Um. And then he came back again and under the guise of, I'm going back to gaming, except it's really about right-wing grifting, far right-wing grifting. And it's working. That well, it, he gets double the live stream viewership of me. That increasingly things are becoming anti-Christian. Yes. And, and I, it, 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 oh, he is. He's down that path. Congratulations, Chris. I notice it so often because, you know, I'm not particularly religious, mm -hmm. but Christian values are kind of like in my DNA from my family. And I went to catechism when I was a kid and I've just sort of lived the. Yeah, I went to Catholic school. Now I'm agnostic. Who gives a fuck? The ideals, but I'm right. not super religious, but I just feel like a lot of them are just common sense. Like I just saw this movie, quick recommendation after you see Dune Part 2, Ordinary mm -hmm. Angels. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ordinary Angels stars Alan Richson. He's a father. His daughter needs a, a liver transplant to live. It's based on a true story. I don't want to ruin the film. They're calling it a faith-based movie. It's The character just goes to church. Right. That's all. Uh, it doesn't push any religion. <laughs> it doesn't pr pr push any particular denomination or whatever. It's just the character. What does this have to do? You don't even know what's going on. You're just talking. Go back to G4. I hear they're hiring. Like, what does this have to do with anything? What does this have to do with her imposing her beliefs and other people to the point that she had a Discord server? I will keep repeating this over and over again when I talk about it to the point that you're already probably annoyed. Where she was trying to convert people away from homosexuality to save them from hell. What does your stupid fucking movie have to do with anything? goes to church with his right. kids but they're calling it faith-based and this movie by the way beat madam webb at the box office oh yeah, we last weekend yeah. so so little recommended but why are they calling it face faith-based it's just it used to be that christian values were just sort of embedded in hollywood hollywood was probably more conservative oh yeah those were fun days yeah, let's go back to the 50s where even married couples had separate twin beds because they couldn't even insinuate, God forbid, on television that they were having sex. Yeah, let's go back to those days. That sounds like a fun old fucking time. And there were movies. When you look at a lot of movies of the past, just religion was more a part of people's lives, which I think was a good thing. Right. Because it kept us grounded with... Oh, my God. common sense common values even if you're not religious 
We share the same values. I'm seeing this happening and it really is, it's really concerning. Mr. Rich, save me from hell. What do you mean you're in hell? What are you at work or in a classroom? ...to me, and I think it's turned off. It's <laughs> or are even worse, are you in a bad date? I've been on those. It's to the point where modern... You know what I should do? I should put this poll up on my YouTube channel, too. Hollywood can't write a hero because they don't have right. those values. Exactly. What are your thoughts? I think that's one reason why there is such a huge pushback against Christianity in general is because oh, here we have a book, like a guideline with a moral code in it. And people are all about subjective morality. That which you don't even follow. You're literally, your flesh is proof of it. You only pick and choose what you want to follow. Christ, no pun intended. That's annoying when they do that. Morality right now. They want to choose their own moral values, and Sorry. there's a slippery slope that comes with that. <laughs> because Craig. if you you're I'm just up you're making poll. yourself your own god, and when you just place your what moral happens? values on, oh well, I this is what I believe, and you can't expect everybody to agree do with that? you on that. And this is one reason why I absolutely love being a Christian is that I can say, look, this I'm getting my moral values from the Bible, not my own opinion. Thank you, Dark Anus. Opinions. Because if I were to make up my own moral values, would they be exactly like the Bible? No, but I know that God knows more than I know. And so that gives me comfort in in all that. And that is something that... Um... But you can't pick and choose what you believe in the Bible when you're trying to instill the Bible into other people. You either follow it or you don't. It's set that simple. You can't only push the stuff you want to push because gay people and trans people scare you. Religion is the oldest scam, and it's still one of the most relevant and most profitable scams, too, unfortunately. The production studio is faith-based, so he lied. Oh my God, I'm shocked. <laughs> oh, I know what I'll do. I think has helped society in the past when it's like, hey, look, we have concrete morals right here. Um, and, and, and it's not up for, you know, there's, there's not all this subjectivity around it. And, oh, this is my truth and your truth and this and that. It's like, okay, hey guys, We've got it all here. It's concrete. Um, and society hates that because society wants to be able to do whatever they want and they want to make up their own morality system. So, you know, Desiree came in yesterday with a with a super mm -hmm. chat where she more or less said it's the idea of you getting banned uh, because you're because you're uh, spouting your religious beliefs. You know that slope not, is slope is so unbelievably slipper slippery. The idea yep. that you know you come on like some would argue that uh, you know people's identity have become their religion. Uh, uh, these people would suck a dictator's dick. Hey, Rich, I finally got some hands on time with the Steam Deck, dude. I'm in. I'm definitely getting one. Yeah, get the OLED. The nicer screen is worth it. The nicer screen is worth it. I put that poll up on my main YouTube channel, too. Uh, every time Melanie Max is Christian Bible or God or Quantum TV unexpectedly farts uncontrollably or gets a hard on. Breastfeed it. And where does that oh, line yeah. stop and start, you know? So, uh, no, it started. It's he he did. I call it the Miley Annapolis effect. How do you think he bored his way into fucking doing this shit? It started with all the Gamergate nonsense, and then he went into his whole right-wing grift, but he went too far in the Joe Rogan podcast. But didn't he say he fucked like a... Uh, like a, a priest or something when he was underage and he was cool with it? Something bizarre like that. Should They, they should be banned based off of uh, their thoughts. And But once again, it goes back to where are these companies located? Yeah, but they don't have VRR. That's my problem with uh, the Lenovo Legion Go. It doesn't have VRR. Needs that. 
They're located mm -hmm. in these bubbles in San Francisco, in LA, in this yep. very tight bubble that nothing can penetrate. And, um, and that's what you see. Then you see, you know, girl in middle America getting banned for spouting, you know, oh my uh, God. Christian beliefs, which right. again, it shouldn't, shouldn't matter what you believe. Again, the party of hating people who play the victims always play the biggest fucking victims. Yeah, she, yeah, she's about as Christian as Donald Trump. That's true. I believe it, it, it's, but the fact that that's deemed as what they say, hate speech or yeah, hate speech. And I was everything I was sharing. Like you can pull those principles from the Bible. So it. Oh my God! Shut the fuck! It's not about the fucking Bible. There's horrific things in the Bible, too. Be even worse than what you're talking about. Just because it's in the Bible doesn't mean it should How just about you kiss my flatly be ass okay. And lick my balls. Evan donated ten dollars. Yeah, I am a ghosts. conservative atheist. Everyone hates me. Melanie Mac is unbearable to listen to. The real hell is being trapped in a room with her. H o o t w i r e l e s s. Who wireless? Yeah, as I don't see the Bible as a guide rather than a how-to. It's a book. Yeah, it's an old book, man. God gave us free will for a reason. Screw her. Yeah, that's a more logical take. It's like my my religion is called hate speech to them. And, and that is just absurd to me. And speaking of Desiree, I just love her so much. Thank you, Desiree, for, for speaking out and defending me. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah. And the, the thing is, is so many people want to come for me and say, oh, you're forcing your beliefs on everybody. These people who are saying that, are the ones who want to force us to use their fake pronouns. They're the ones that want to force us to to let men in women's bathrooms. So Oh, uh, you've already had this debate with David Jaffe and got bodied. Stop it. On and so forth, but I'm the one forcing my values just because I share them on Twitter or Twitch. That's not adding up. No, you're trying to force your beliefs down someone else's throat. It's not like, how about uh, you kiss my fucking ass and lick my balls? It's different. How does it? Putz 12 Stentacle Porn donated $10. What? Mira Bien Iha de Two Grand Puta Madre. You're fucking bullshitting. Blabs, with a shallow personality like Keffel's, is someone you'd lynch due to her Harry Potter obsession. Also, the studio oh, made man. a movie called Jesus Revolution. So how does it not push faith? Because he, he's, dude, it's all gaslighting bullshit. And this puffs up their audience. All it is is to groom their audience is to become blind believers in them so they can milk their pockets. It's the oldest trick in the book. As an easy to shut these religious bigot zealots down is, is to ask one question, why? As a response to everything they say, they can't handle logic. They don't want to handle logic. It's either because it's profitable to not be logical or it's just what they've been brought up to believe. <laughs> the brainwashing jumps from generation to generation. Yeah, it's just having having been I, I've lived in Los Angeles. I moved from Michigan in 1989 and lived here. And it's bizarre how just anti-religious Hollywood has become. Mm -hmm. um, I've got a. a a, a good friend, his name is Jeremy Kuhn. He's a Mormon. Yeah. Okay? Mormon. In fact, the most interesting thing about Jeremy, he will never swear. He will never, mm -hmm. ever use a swear. I got to use the little boy's room. We'll be right back. Yeah, that that's her, that's her whole thing, Sue. Yep. Try to relax your anus.
Mike's still connected here and everything. All right. I'm not a Bible expert. I actually had a Bible expert on, actually. And that's a very good thing you said before. The easy way to shut is ask him why. Yeah, it's just shit. And this guy, that's so disingenuous. It's a religious movie studio. And he's just like, ah, they're, 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 it's not about it. Come on, bro. But they don't care. They'll lie to your face because they, it's, it's affirmation. It's not information. They tell you what you want, not what you need to hear. Fair word. And um, he, you know, he's married with kids. He lives the ideals, right? He's the producer and editor of the movie Napoleon Dynamite. You see that I movie? love that movie. Yeah, it's uh, well, all the all the people who made it, they're all Mormons. Uh -huh. The lead actor's Mormon, the director's Mormon, the producer, my friend Jeremy. That Mormon. makes sense because even though I'm not Mormon, I'm like, I grew up homeschool Christian and uh -huh. watching Napoleon Dynamite. Oh no, that makes so much sense. Of course, she's a fucking lunatic. Just reminded me. Not only Christian, she was homeschooled, man. Her social engagement was like in the negatives. Me, a lot of that, like you know christian humor and, <laughs> and all that stuff so okay it's, it's weird she always stands i don't know is like a thing like look how active i am i don't know what her deal with that is how you know he he tried to make some movies after that but definitely found people were prejudiced toward his projects because they're just it's not like he makes religious movies he just makes fun movies that everyone can enjoy yeah he just works for a studio that is religion based that's all joy yeah and just a little oversight he's doing right there very 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 good journalism chris congratulations you know it's just bizarre to me how much i've noticed i mean i'm going by hearsay i need to look into that but i don't know uh, the person who said that's been around for a very long time i don't think they would just pull that out of their ass friends of mine i have very diverse group of friends no i went for a walk before this that was that's i was like no nah. that's why i was a little later with streaming i was going to stream a little earlier but i'm like nah my fat ass is getting to walk in right they're mm -hmm. just all over the map weird but i i never have understood so much of the prejudice towards people who are religious i don't get it i don't understand there's like a weird like see how it's always we are under attack though we're under attack. Help. Don't you understand that you're intolerant? That's what you accuse them of being? Like, yep. how do you not look in the mirror? But I, I'm not intolerant. I don't give a fuck. Believe whatever you want to fucking believe, Chris. Go ahead. Just don't push it down someone else's throat. That's all we're saying. That is all we are fucking saying, man. It's that simple. It's not that hard. Jesus Christ. Are you serious about your dad dying today? I like I'm not like it would... How about you kiss my fucking Jesus ass Christ. and lick my balls? Ah oh, shit, dude. I'm so sorry. And I'll get to the stream labs I hear it. As I'm whipping out my breasts. That sounds terrible. Oh, God. What have I done with my life? <laughs> my condolences to you, though, all kidding aside. I appreciate you being here, and I'm sincerely sorry for your loss. I do mean that. And what was the Streamlabs to you? My apologies. If that award show... Uh, actually happens. It'll all do everything. I can make sure that the most woke game ever wins. <laughs> Dude, it's just going to be the anti-woke version of the game awards. Any these fucking game awards are just all it looks like is that the industry's trying way too hard to be like Hollywood, and no one gives it all. All the I stopped watching the Academy Awards. I can't even remember one in the early two thousands. I'm like, this is just a circle jerk session. It's just the elite jerking off the elite at how elite they are. That's all it is. And see this, there's a profound lack of self-awareness. And it's like, 
you know, I think you may have heard. And I said, I'm sure even if he has a show put on that minimum investment, maximum profit, he ain't saying he's not pocketing any of those profits. Did you hear him anywhere in that video say he's not or on that website? Maybe there is a place I missed it. Didn't say it though. So he's going to put in his, it'll, uh, I'm sure he'll make it look fine. But if you don't think he's going to cut corners to make sure that he gets his, gets his payday, you're out of your fucking mind. Heard that like, I feel like the, 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 the right understands the left better than the left understands itself. Mm -hmm. you, know what I'm, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Okay. What the fuck? Fuck this guy. Like, it's like. You know, I tried to like, right, maybe he's just on the show and like, you know, is like they had on David Jaffe and I, he's, he's more progressive than me in spades. And look, I, like I say, I'm part of the alt middle, you know, <laughs> bullshit. Um, but it's, but it's just weird to sort of look at like how polarized people have become and how hateful the other side that claims to not be hateful has also become and we've kind of yeah fredible hulk i should have done yesterday's video today i even said that yesterday i i think the ratios on that would have been much different lost our way this is why i think movies are even less popular right yep. it's just less popular yep fewer people are going to the movies fact audience well, that is true audience shrinking yep. video games there's other video games youtube Many other ways to be entertained. And yep. the, this anti-religious thing is a bad thing. Even just sharing the values and the fact that a movie like Ordinary Angels, which is a very... But see, at least me anyway, you could practice whatever religion you want. And that's another ruse. No one's attacking your fucking religion. I don't care what you practice. As long as you're not hurting anybody else, practice whatever the fuck you want. God damn it. You know, it's 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 not. If you want to practice the religion of shoving R two D two up your fucking ass, then have at it, dude. It's not a faith based movie. It just the characters happen to go to church. Yeah. How is that? <laughs> like, is that going to offend people? And and it be like. A now I'm gonna have to watch this movie out of curiosity. What the fuck is the name of the movie? I said it beat Madam Web, um, mm -hmm. in Madam Web Super Second Weekend just dropped. So, um, anyone that. It Strongly recommend Thank Ordinary you. Angels with Alan Richson. A lot of people are saying he should play Batman. I mean, I'm saying he might be able to play Batman. He's a <laughs> big dude. Um, but uh, yeah, no, it's very concerning to me, and I've noticed it for years. And so um, shout, just kudos to you, Melanie, for standing up Thank against you. that and for looking at Yeah, you're so brave, Melanie. You're so brave. As a Christian, I'm not trusting someone who would disown their own children for committing adultery. Who did that? In a very pragmatic way. Who did that? Did he? Uh... So, let's see. Ooh, this is beefy. Oh. I got to show this. Where did it go? All right. We'll just do a new tab. Oh, Asmongold TV punches down. How about you kiss down. my fucking ass and lick my balls? Keffel's Frosted Cum Flakes donated $10. Kingdom Story made that movie he saw. They also made movies like The Jesus Music, Jesus Revolution, Ordinary Angels, and I Still Believe. Another faith-based uh. studio named Pure Flix made a movie called I'm Not Ashamed Where a Girl Got Killed in Columbine. Oh, they sound like a great studio. <laughs> so, look, 20 subscribers. Thank you for the support. Maybe there was that super off chance it just popped up in her feed. But if I was a, a, a large betting man, I would bet that she was looking for her name because she has a fragile ego and she was looking for people to give her affirmation. And that's sad. A little different. It seems like I say that every video, doesn't it? 
What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Maverick Raven, coming at you with another one. And today... Oh, man, thank God. Maverick Raven is coming at us with a video. I'll be able to sleep better tonight. I'm going to do something a little different. It seems like What's up, Odin? Oh, how are you? Maybe I should add it and put it on T-shirt. But today I'm going to do something a little different because today it's going to be um, me reacting to a reaction of a reaction. So it's What's like up, Mari? How are you? But... See, the thing is, um, I just heard about this. I know I'm a little late to the party, but Asmund Gold, you know, he's a famous YouTuber. He's got probably like, what, like like four or something million. Watch how he starts it's this. Obscene. I know it's obscene. Watch how he starts this. This is, this, he doesn't even like try to hide his intentions. Let's go. It might be like 60 million for all I know. But he also doesn't know how to use a microphone in 2024. I know it's obscene. Uh, long or maybe he was in a rush and that just had to instantly get to the simping while his hard on was still fresh. One of the three. Story short, he he basically did a reaction video on Melanie Mack, who I really like a lot. I mean, Melanie is the type of person that, from what I've listen, seen, I don't know. Listen, her listen, listen, listen. But I've watched a lot of her content. She seems like, honestly, like if you were looking for like a gamer girl type of, you know, to just hold on, hold on, wait for it. Go out with or whatever, man. You gotta wipey, uh, wipey up the shit out of Melanie Mac, dude. If that's what you're. Uh, the this is Max motherfucking. This guy doesn't know how to use a fucking mic, and I can't. And the boosting software, I have to get new boosting new boosting software. I'm all my volume is Max, son. <laughs> We work as an intern. If you need up liking me, you can hire me for what you would want to pay. If you like to talk about it, you do have my emails. Okay, dude. All right, man. Thank you. Like, come on. Listen to what he said. It's so sad. Thank you, Seals, though. If you're looking for, Melanie is the real deal gamer girl. She plays games. She she doesn't conform to this bullshit feminism that, you know, you know male bad, women good. So, okay, so within the first minute and 30 seconds, he's like, God, I want to fuck her. Which just was, he just didn't say. <laughs> so tell me you're, you're have a, in a, you have a bias because of your physical attraction to her without telling me you have a bias because of your physical attraction to her. But these are the idiots that are lying in her pocket, so... Uh, I'm a Christian that doesn't take that that take everything in the Bible literally. I believe that religion and science can coincide. Well, think you're a sane person. Don't force religion on others. It just, but a lot of money to be made there, as we're seeing. I would interview either of them. That'd be fine. I would be civil. I don't care that I we don't like each other. <laughs> you know. You know, she she she's she's the real deal, man. She's an honest to God good person. At least she seems like a good person. And I How I, do you know? You don't know any of this. You're basing this on the fact that she makes you hard. Your pet's all you're basing it on. I can't res I can't say enough about her. I, I respect the hell out of her. Asmund Gold, I don't know that much about. I, I hear he's maybe left leaning. Um Maybe he's a moderate, a left-leaning moderate. I don't know. And and when I say these left-leaning, right-leaning things, remember, you could be a fiscal conservative, but be socially somewhat liberal like I am because I believe in the legalization of drugs. I know that that's kind of like a lot of people take a double take when I say that. But I Yeah, here's, here's me taking a double take. Oh, wait, I'm not going to. I believe in the legalization. But let me guess, you are scared of the gay people. I haven't watched all of this. I don't know if we're going to watch all of it, but. ...of all drugs and, and, and see it as a way that the government can, you know, make money and, and tax it and ensure its, its pathway of safety. Now, whether that's moral or not, you know, that's a different story. But I'm open to the idea. I think it's a good one. So... That the, but am I still a conservative at the end of the day? Yeah, I'm a conservative. I just happen to have some libertarian bents. Now, as a goal, libertarian bents, totally, totally social, 
you know, liberal, and I, I hear he's an economic. All guy. right, who cares? I don't need to hear this guy's whole take. I'd rather fucking bang my head against my desk. Uh, but thank you for the support. 20 subscribers, 93 views. Again, by chance, maybe this showed up from the algorithm. I know YouTube once in a while tries to push new new creators. What do you think happened, really, though? You know? Oh, my God. So, no, where's the rest of the shit that I had here? Oh, God. Let me look at my history. Whoop! Uh, yeah, no more. Boogie ends tipster's career. Yeah. Yeah. Why are we talking? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. About Boogie versus tipster. Well, it's. Jesus Christ, team. <laughs> it's been a crazy, crazy week. All right, I'm going to give you a quick recap, all right? Yeah, I was not sitting there for an hour of that fucking guy simping. I was just, I just, I proved my point. I'm going to go through everything so everyone has the full context, and then we're going to get Boogie in here. We're going to try to get Tipster. I, I've given him multiple mm. open invites to the show tonight. I don't think he's yeah. coming, but how great would it be if he showed up? Yeah, we need more of the intro guy farts. Eat shit out of my fucking ass. Wait, hold on. I gotta fix that. That always... That's a classic line from Phil. Really? Why is that so low? Eat shit out of my fucking ass. No, it's too loud. Eat shit out of my fucking ass. We have to do the fart test, ladies and gentlemen. Eat shit out of my fucking ass. Eat shit out of my fucking ass. Eat it. 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 <laughs> Where is that? Eat it. <laughs> Eat it. No, that's not it. I was looking for Stanley, but I can't find him right now. Up. Here's the backstory. Gamergate is something that was like over a decade ago. Basically, the game. Oh yeah, Sun Pie is beautiful. But dude, there's a lot of people that said he's he's literally living proof. And like I said, I can't say anything because I don't know, or I mean, I I can't guarantee it. I mean to say that's the right term. But you look for those kind of videos. Now, admittedly, if I'm going to be fully objective here, that video just kind of fell in my lap. So maybe it fell in her vagina. Gamers, they wanted their game journalism to be done fairly, right? There is this whole other thing that has taken place just this week, and that is Gamergate 2. Okay, so there is this uh, company uh, called Sweet Baby Inc. And Sweet... I thought it was all a nothing burger, though. I, I, I kind of don't care. Sweet Baby Inc. is kind of like this woke company that gets hired by big game studios to go in and give them advice on how to make their games woke, basically. And so a Steam group put together... Is that actually true? I don't know. I haven't looked into it. What's up, Robo Taco? How are you? Sweet Baby Rays, yeah. They're going to put ribs in our games. A list of all the games that Sweet Baby Inc. worked on, you know? I'll look into them. Everyone was like, oh, you're such a beta cuck for nuts. I'm like, I don't know the whole story. I have other shit going on. I don't fucking know. That's all it is. Gave their advice to, their consulting to, to kind of track them, to warn consumers, hey, your game is about to have some woke stuff in it. So what Boogie did is Boogie came out with a video. He said uh, during the first Gamergate, he basically was a fence sitter and he's not gonna be a fence sitter here. He also came out with a tweet that went apps. I wasn't a fucking fence sitter. I was not on the front lines. I wasn't like fucking Miley Annapolis. I, I thought, I truly thought it was about ethics and journalism. 
Yeah, it just it, it, it because I like I've been working on that bigger shit, Pescator. It was like I don't know. I don't even know if I'm going to post a video about Craig tomorrow. I just put a lot of work into it, but I don't really care. Absolutely viral. Do you guys see this? He said, "Hot take: Video games are." Honestly, my concern really is is to get someone to do clips for this channel. That's like should be my number one priority. They're supposed to be fun, not lectures about why being a white man is bad. And it got 38 million views. 38 million views. I'm looking at this and I'm thinking to myself, oh my God, I've never been so proud of Boogie2988. That's a Keemstar tweet right there. God, that's viral. One person didn't like that. Of course, that person that I'm referring to would be the big tip. Boogie. <laughs> the big tip. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know why it's so funny to me. The big tip. He is becoming the quartering ripoff. Wasn't on my 2024 bingo card. Oh, Boogie isn't a fucking right wing grifter. Stop it. Even if you don't agree with this tweet. Jesus Christ, man. Whoever, th well, no, yeah, I kind of thought Tipster was going to be becoming a pearl collector. He's another person who's now blocked me on Twitter. Man, oh man, my friends list is just growing. It's growing by the day. I like my island, though. It's a nice island. I have a blue mat on my desk. I have birds. It's just me and the birds. And a fucking cardboard cut out of Nick Cage because I have psychological issues. Let's continue. But it should have been. He's lost a lot of relevancy in recent What's years. What's up, John Zuck? And his bank account is looking rather empty these days. And being the lovable Mr. Rogers character of the internet wasn't working anymore because people got a chance to see... Yeah, he's like more left than even super lefty people that bother me. You know, like he's like... And he used to, like, you, we know you don't have any values, dude, because you fucking pivoted. I know people could change, but you did, like, a Dave Rubin pivot, but it just wasn't as profitable for you. The current and the get a good look at what the real Boogie2988 is like. And surprise, surprise, they didn't like it. Not to mention the fact that the anti-woke griff is extremely profitable. And I can... Well. I can't disagree with him there. I don't think anyone here, even if you are right leaning, can disagree with that. And imagine seeing folks like the quartering and Mel again, it's like what I said with Craig's video. They're like, what? Yeah, he was the one who said like one little granule of truth. A broken clock is right twice a day. Melanie Mac raking mountains saying? of cash on that griff looks rather appealing. To it has been. Uh, da -da -da -da. I don't even want to read this honestly. I'm gonna basically. Tipster's woke. <laughs> Tipster also put this out to mock Boogie. Guys, it's me, Francis. And you know, last time this gamer... Oh, God, you have no talent when it comes to anything minus fucking crying. Gate thing happened all those years ago. I feel like I was on the wrong side of history. I was just kind of a, a bit of a fence sitter last time. And so this time, I want to make sure I'm on the right side of history. Oh, God, you're so not fucking funny. You know, last time that big meanie Anita Sarkeesian was so mean to me at VidCon, and I didn't... God, thank God I wasn't there. I'd fucking t verbally tore her a new one. ...like that very much, so this time, I'm gonna side with all the racists and the and stuff like that because they seem to think I'm a really cool guy and they seem to be on the right side of this. Yeah, I don't know how Boogie's siding with the racists and the Nazis. Yeah, yeah, because, yeah, he's siding with the racists and the Nazis. Next thing you know, he's going to have a swastika behind him when he's on the podcast. Tipster, shut the fuck up. <laughs> but okay. This time, and like I said, I want to be on the right side of history uh, this time around. You know, there was that infamous stream clip of me saying that, you know, at least, you know. Oh, tipster, this could have ended six months ago. Seriously, champ. 
If they stand by what they believe in, and you know, I'm going to stand by them this time, because that big bad Anina Sarkeesian was so mean to me at VidCon, how... No, but she's a disingenuous bitch who put out misinformation to put a narrative, which has a, has affected the gaming industry. She it was a big contributor to not only just the shit in the gaming industry, but to identity politics in, in general. Thank you, Anita. And by thank you, I mean go fuck yourself. Oh, God. Okay. Good one, Tipster. Very, very funny stuff. Um, yeah, Tipster, you are. You should be a comedian. Um, from Tipster, mocking Boogie, calling Boogie a Nazi. <laughs> Boogie responded by saying if he's pissing off Tipster, it's a good litmus test that he's on the right track. I'd rather be me than pander to alt writers like you. Using libs of TikTok as a source? The person who caused a children's hospital to receive threats over bigot posts? Yikes, Boogie, you've lost the plot. Then Tipster went on a little bit of a Boogie binge here. He went on a little bit of a binge on his stream. Even for a fat guy, he has the strangest double chin. He looks like a, a Pac-Man pellet with a face. <laughs> I know I'm sitting here as a fat dude shirtless. That does not go over my head. I get it. But like, I don't have a chin like, like it's just bizarre. I'm talking sh about Boogie. Shoot everything. <laughs> Wait, that was a weird thing. Shoot everything. <laughs> All right, so I'm getting 61% here. What about my main channel YouTube audience for it? Oh, Jesus Christ. It's really at 50 fucking 50? One point one K votes, fifty fifty down the middle, for Christ's sake. That'll make it easy. I'll see what it is out at the morning. He's gone all the way into the anti woke grift at this point. Like he's basically just a chubbier version. Yeah, oh god, yes. Oh, well that's what I'm talking about. Like, what do you think? It kinda goes back to what we're talking about with Craig with this stupid award show. Even if it comes to fruition, what is it gonna be? It's gonna be an anti woke version of the fucking game awards. Yay! Just what I needed in my life. That's what I lose sleep about at night. I want I want an anti woke game awards show. Cause I don't because me not giving a shit about game awards show, having one for me is what I'm worried about. I don't care about any of them. Fuck them all. They're pointless. Version of the quartering. Connor, I told you to to get me the good stuff. What the f is this? Is this supposed to be the good stuff? You wanna have a fun video game? Well then you're in Oh, and don't forget, if you're a white male... Why gamer, am I watching Boogie? I want to hear what Tipster had to say about Boogie. Come on. Oh, we're now edging out. Oh, God. 51% want to see it. I mean, if it stays above at 50 or above, I am. That means that half of my audience wants to see it. And with how many votes there is, it's active. 1.2K, and I just posted it. So, stays above 50. I'm posting it. Connor, what is this? Con was in an interracial relation. Oh my God, this last one's got to be the funniest one. What is it? Was in an interracial relationship in the South. In yeah, it's true. Tribalism sells. In the 80s and 90s. I'm edge. Abby's edging right now. <laughs> 90s and got my. For Bro, why am I, dude? I'm calling Connor. What is this? Bro. I'm sorry. The low cow podcast is pretty damn entertaining now. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> it's entertaining. It's good shit. I enjoy it. I enjoy reacting to it. It's good comedy gold for me to bounce off of. Tipster's neck just fascinates me. I'm like that? No, it's not. Bro. Yeah. Bro, I needed a fucking clip of. Yeah, T Keem is a good. Uh, that's why he he's a smart dude. Whatever you feel about him, he's a smart guy. He realizes that he's a good part of the show. That's why he's here more. Just like Craig realized that having the simps from Melanie come over to his show would benefit him, and it has worked.
of Tipster talking shit about Boogie. I'm watching this and I'm watching Tipster watch Boogie's video and he's not even saying anything. What is this? He talks shit in there. He has to watch it and respond. I mean, this is Tipster talking shit. He's not as, he's not as- Okay, then just cut him talking shit. I'm sitting here watching him read tweets and shit. I have nothing to comment on right now. What is this, Connor? This is Tipster's content. I'm my lawyer told me not to say anything. No, I don't want Tipster's content. I wanted you to edit the fucking clip where we can get everything that Tipster said on Boogie. So it could be snap, 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 entertaining. Not just that I watch as long as before. Rich, you always make my day better. Thank you very much, man. Help me get through some tough times. I wish you the best. I'll be good. I'm staying in my lane, and that's it. Bring stream and try to accept parts that are interesting. I appreciate that, man. What do you want me to do? Whatever, Connor. Whatever, Connor. Jesus Christ. Connor, I hate just totally different thing. I'm just like, yeah, you got to get to the. I will say that with who I get as a clipper, too. I wouldn't do this, but it's all about getting to the point. Again, it's, it's not that it's heavy duty editing. You get to the point people want to get it. It's they want to get in. They want to get out. It's like one step away from a YouTube short. You know what I mean? What is this nonsense? Forced drama, my ass. My only offense is being a white man. Okay. He's literally, I have a black friending us. Yeah, that's literally it, right? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Whether I make a list of video games with forced diversity and shit or not, it doesn't change the simple fact that. Oh my video God, games he's reading. He's reading why the f why why connor are you sending me a f***ing clip of tipster talking shit about boogie i'm just gonna sit here and watch and just uh i gotta shave my neck i'm getting a neck literally getting a neck beard it's 10 minutes long and he's reading we want to see what he had to say about Get buggy. Supposed to be fun, not lectures. Again, not giving any examples. And why? Why you gotta do this to me, Keen? Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> Just gonna. Refusing to give any because he knows it's he's full of shit. Let's be real, okay? Let's 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 not make this a woke thing or whatever. Let's just be real for a second. Video game companies make games to make money. Why would they? Wait, didn't Keemstar make Tipster cry? From what I heard. Uh, I, I like to thank you, thank my Orthodox, I like to thank my Orthodox, what is that kid doing now? Didn't he have like a podcast for a while where we would call like, uh, OnlyFans girl sluts? <laughs> like, how did she go from fucking trolling the fucking game awards with Elden Ring one and then you're like on a podcast calling women sluts? Like, that's a pivot. They try and alienate, intentionally alienate. Tipsters bacon. <laughs> a portion of their dude i'm not saying I'm, i know i'm a fat motherfucker but i'm saying like i just don't understand his chin i don't it's such a mystery to me man this sh i i keep on checking the poll it's yeah i fucking 50 50 again god damn it make up your fucking minds audience audience to make money it's 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 because even though i'm just compiling the videos together it's not going to be a big project but you know it's still a lot of rendering. It's not gonna work. If you insult a portion of their audience, your audience, they're not a gonna lot buy of time the game, stamps. and they're not gonna play it. Again, you might okay. find some little- So using this logic, if you insult a portion of your audience, they're not gonna buy the game. Exactly. <laughs> exactly, Tipster. Are you that f dense? A lot of people don't want the look in their game. They don't want to be lectured in their game. Boogie makes a valid point. What point are you- I feel like another game that kind of did that but was it wasn't stealth it was up there uh it was the last of us 2 or maybe i'm just remembering it wrong you making that just sounds dumb it's it, it's not so much that it's that you've chosen to align yourself with genuinely horrible people boogie do you not realize oh my god oh my god boogie has chosen to align himself with horrible 
f***ing people. One in the chat if we just saw f***ing just so tippy two weeks ago a line just so tippy he's so corny <laughs> oh remember when he wanted to show his support for dylan mulvaney and that super cringe where it was so unauthentic hi my name is tipster i don't have a chin i support trans rights see that's me being supportive Great video, Dipster. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Caffles will not fuck you. Finding <laughs> <sighs> himself with lolly burn and fucking Caffles and horse. Like, what are you saying, you full blown tard? What is this? Yeah, it's amazing how you went to bat over super... Dis I mean, look, whether you agree or disagree with Boogie's tweet, it's like such a softball tweet. I don't know what the fuck that was, but it was such a softball tweet. Like, the shit... I mean, it wasn't EDP caliber, but the shit that Vosh got caught with oh. is significantly worse. And you went to bat for him over and over and over again because now he's on your new team. Until the very end, when you realize, yeah, there's he, it, what he got caught with is not justifiable, and you and then you fucking lost more respect because of it. That's when you finally said, "Oh yeah, I can't die on this hill." You've died on every hill your fat ass climbed to. <laughs> he says, "If I pissed off Tipster, it's a good litmus test." I'm on the right track. Really? Yeah, yeah, really. Cause you're yeah, because you always have terrible fucking takes. Doesn't matter when you were on the commentary community or edgier, and now you're in up Keffel's ass. It doesn't matter. You've always had, yeah, your takes suck. You're notorious for the being the man with no chin or no neck. That's Leafy, sorry. And shitty takes. You're, you're actually a bad human, tipster. You stand for app and you're a sex pest too confirmed over and over again absolutely nothing you stand for absolutely f nothing i then no he doesn't to quote he doesn't him. he's right yikes boogie you've lost the plot Him and his dude, you gotta learn to use. I know I spam the applause. You gotta learn to use the soundboard a little better, though. <laughs> he hit him with the oh shit. He literally cited when somebody was asking him for evidence of the claims that he was making, he literally cited libs of TikTok, chat. Oh, he no. He then says, before I hop off Twitter for a while. Yeah, well, okay, Keem, they're not great. Can we keep it 100? They're not. I don't like libs of TikTok. They're fucking right wing bullshit. I have pissed off a lot of people of color and the LGBTQ folks in the past 24 hours. Know that I still love you and will always fight for you when I can. Boogie, you're telling people of color and like LGBTQ plus folks that you love them and you support them while you align yourself with people who are mad that black characters exist in video games. Yeah, or... he's not doing. He's not aligning himself with that. Who was I saying that was just bitching about, validly bitching about that, which is ridiculous, or actually not valid. They're not valid, their point. They were actually, I think it was the side scrollers. Oh my God, there's black people in a video game. Who fucking cares? And, uh, he did Quantum did that too. The irony, he's black. That's always like, okay. That's also the man that said he's vegan, so he can't be homophobic because... <laughs> Vegans are, are gay. That was another one of the best things that I've ever seen on the internet. So you're, so you're saying you're gay, Quantum. We already knew. But thank you for clarifying. Breastfeed it. it Boogie is not doing that. I can't stand this anymore. And there's a clip that I'm probably going to miss in here that we probably should be watching. But I can't f listen to this f guy anymore. Boogie is so annoyed with Tipster and the sh 
that tipster saying that Boogie, Boogie goes full Boogie. off on the tippy. And this is crazy, people. This is insane. Okay, Boogie tweets out, tipster, I'm glad to see you stopped defending Vosh and his and his horse. I'm ending the stream probably after this, or maybe not. We'll see. And I'm going to the lands between in more way than fucking one. I don't know, whoever does edibles, not the edibles. If you do edibles or marijuana, God, I sound like a middle-aged man. I am one. Playing Elden Ring stoned is... Mwah. Get this. Yeah, he, dude, he body tipster. Uh, yeah, no, but see, I would never do anything beyond weed, though, dude. Hey, like, you should, people said you should try sh shrooms and all them. Like, nah, no way. I'm good. This is more than plenty for me. Fantasies long enough to type this. Unlike you, a person who got a... Yes, but a perfect... If you're a... If you game... I hate gamer. I still hate that word, even from I made that video in 2012, and that's one of the moments where it wasn't a rich tomorrow. I still hate the word, but a perfect pairing is Elden Ring and marijuana. Thank you, Miyazaki. Reject it from the commentary community to go fly false. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll do bumps. Flags. I'll do bumps of coke. I'm yeah. no grifter. You are a perfect example of those types of person whose politics should stay far away from video games. I don't want you or your pet anywhere oh, near them. Play I, God, he just, man, he just laid him the fuck out. Good night, Tip. Let go f off. What's up, Xander? How are you, man? Off. Tipster comes back. Who ghost wrote this tweet for you, Buggy? Because we both know... Uh oh, come on. You could say whatever you want to about... I mean, Boogie's... I think Boogie's on the way back up. You could say... But Boogie's always been a good speaker. Always. Always. Even way back. I remember he used to have his bed behind him back in the day. I was like, man... I remember because after you... You would see, obviously, the videos where he'd be eating shit. Fat guy in pool. Fat guy in plunger. But when he sat down and he formulated a topic... He was he was excellent in front. He still is obviously excellent in front of the camera. So don't make it like he needs a ghostwriter, dude. He's always been well spoken. Sit down. A spineless coward like you didn't do it. Let me remind everyone what your original response to me was. Okay, first of all, if you're calling Boogie spineless and a coward, right, tipster? Let me remind you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's up, Anthony Smith? How are you, bro? You. That you have an open invite to have a 1v1. Yeah, Boogie is very engaging. Wings, I still think, is the star. The, the And I honestly think, and I like Tommy. I think Tommy now, combined with Keem, adds something to the show. He's a, he's a val He adds value to it. I think it's a good podcast, dude. We won debate with Boogie tonight on this show. We'll find out who the coward is. Oh, and you want to talk about aren't you the guy who recently literally shared a table with an actual oh fuck off he was interviewing him fuck off you're not the police to chow down some direct it's like when that dumbass was on the side scrollers podcast before he used to be on chris gore let him be fucking on there who gives a shit Ritos and mountain dew what <laughs> let him pretend a religious studio is not a religious studio. God, how do people just like flat out? <sighs> anyway. Did EDP 445 get caught doing again? Oh. J-Rab, not like they went and got a 
beer together. Yes, it's not like they were, were like buddies. It was an interview set up with Mike Klum. They were both large men. Here's cheeseburgers. See, I personally, from a creative perspective, like don't like. Okay, they're fat. I get it. I'm not saying, but make it about just Boogie interviewing a guy who got caught trying, even though he's not in jail, trying to fuck someone underage. Like, they didn't need to have burgers around them to do that. That's just me. Oh, yeah. Trying to meet up with a 13-year-old for You keep good company, Boogie. Breaking bread with a... Inciting with literal Nazis and bigots in the Gamergate. Damn, Boogie. You sure have changed. I can't, like... As a person who's... Uh, not great at keeping bad press for them. This is like on another level. Let's hope being on the right side of history this time goes goes well for you. And all those friendly gamer gators don't chew you up and spit you out the way Anita Sarkeesy did uh, and had you crying like a little bitch at VidCon. Because we all know the anti-woke grifters won't turn on you the moment they realize how pathetic you are. Tipster went in. But then we get the response from Boogie2988, heard around the world. I got paid by Mike Klum to go scream at a hell he's exposing. When someone exposes your ass, though, I'll do, I'll it, for do it for free. And yeah, I blocked you because you disgust me. It's one thing to yell at a hell. It's a whole, it's a whole other one to be you and jerk off to draw drawings of literal children. When I'm done putting you in your place, I will likely block you again. And no, no one wrote my tweets for me. I have a ton of- Yeah, that was such a stupid thing to say, tipster. So dumb. Friends who would, the only friend you have left is Keffels. But wait, didn't she just throw you under the bus for defending Vosh? Great friend. I believe that's true. And, but I don't need help to destroy someone as pathetic and disgusting as you. And you called me a grifter? Didn't you fail as a gaming creator to join the commentary community, then failed at that to grift the Rainbow Coalition? <laughs> this is coming from a guy who went from simply harassing e-girls to now simply harassing trans girls. Jesus Christ, generally and wholeheartedly, I hope you choose to chemi chemically yourself rather than to defend people before you actually hurt someone, you disgusting f Oh, my. <laughs> Flawless victory. Fatality. My God. Late Boogie 2988 wins. <laughs> Finish him. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the mic drop heard around the world. <laughs> Holy shit. So Did you see though, by the way, that um apparently I bodied him. That was fucking poetic. I'm so hard they shadow banned him on YouTube. Did you see this? Oh this my god, yeah. Yeah, if you search for his name on YouTube, you search tipster. It doesn't show his channel anymore. It only shows takedown videos. Let me say. <laughs> you put out this tweet, you get 38 million fucking views. What are your what's what are your thoughts going on? I've been watching a Not lot of show different tipster. content creators since this whole Sweet Baby Incorporated thing cropped up. But we literally have the on record the founder of Sweet Baby Incorporated saying that she bullies companies into Wow, a lot of people. That is the first time I've been on the top of a search list on YouTube in a very long time. I just typed in REV and I am at the top. I can't remember. The, I don't think there's ever been a time. Mm. Hiring them. You, yeah. You literally, uh, yeah. And so. Who wrestled naked? Oh, God, it would just be. It would just be. Uh. Unless they were oiled up. Ban anybody who says I'm on camera. Long story short, I knew what I was doing when I typed out, video games are supposed to be fun, not lectures about white men. Any sane human being 
should be able to agree. like i ain't playing that's a first even when i was like peak rtu that wasn't the case oh my god agree with that right yeah. yeah video games are supposed to be fun video games are supposed to be fun well, video games are supposed to be fun well one of the things you, they're not supposed to be is a lecture go ahead when you buy a video game you want that video game to be by the game the only two games i truly know is there anyone else here that could tell me? I will say this if I'm going to be objective. No, I'm not being a straw man. Go fuck yourself. Is Saints Row, and I saw some of it in The Last of Us 2, where like, you bigot. Like, it wasn't even a natural way to say it. It was kind of like, like, could you stop Neil Druckmann, Neil Cuckman? Game Studio. You don't want some political I activist never did. going in there and like forcing their political opinions into the video game. And again, a lot of people have accused me like, you don't like it when there's people of color in your video game. You don't like it when there's LGBT. I don't give a f Write it well. That's the problem. For me, it's about writing it well. If it's well written, I don't give a shit if you're short, tall, fat, skinny, gay, straight. Who gives a f And the thing is, from what I heard, what's sad about Volition, because I still love like Saints Row the Third. Um... They were forced to make the game like that because the studio, the publisher thought being woke with it would have been popular. That is, there's no way you could even, you could be woke <laughs> and look at that game and go like, yeah, that's absolutely. Uh. You got to write it well. And it's got to be historically, like at least remotely close to realistic for a person of color to be there. Right. Probably don't need to be starting uh, shoving like a bunch of black people into colonial arms times races and it doesn't matter regardless well i think what well, annoys uh, what, black people what it wasn't it kotaku who just put an article because there was a movie about samurais and there was not a black samurai unless i miss was there black samurais maybe i'm wrong female with a robotic arm in world war one Right, yeah, that's, that's probably number one. That's no, I don't. It's called Shogun. I don't think I was joking. I believe there were articles written on that. Yep, Shogun. There you go. It's probably not what a lot of. There was one black samurai. Literally just one. Interesting. Uh, Call of Duty players want to play. But number two, I don't know how historically accurate that is. My question is this. Natsu has the Castlevania collection. I told you it was a good bundle. It's solid. The, who M2 is the one who did the emulation for it. They're good. Who believes Tipster? Tipster is out here telling his audience and his followers that Boogie is trying to be the quartering. No, he's not. No. Like someone just said that to me recently for one tweet that I had. One. What are you? No. What are you talking about? Like in look, what I, world? On the best. Interesting. Okay. I got to look into that, Yasaki. Okay. Today I'm libertarian. And uh, probably on my worst day, I'm pretty liberal, right? I, I don't plan to change that anytime soon. But the reality of it is, I even I can call out corruption. But I knew when I typed this, there's going to be... What is Wings doing? People who are going to be like, actually, Boogie, actually, Boogie. And I knew you know, The Last of Us to the discourse surrounding it. Actually, video games aren't always supposed to be fun. I knew what I was doing. I didn't know... Who the fuck said video games are... What's, what the fuck is the point of playing a game? that people were going to cling on to the last statement so much. They're trying to invalidate the entire argument by saying, well, there's never been a video game that was exclusively a lecture against why white people are bad. Yeah, of course not. Nobody would buy the video game. It's called hyperbole, you dumb fucks. Everybody point, that's behind it is a white bigot. <laughs> yeah, but the I, point, I found it so funny that Tipster, I'm assuming that- Adventure Island, I played it. I like Adventure It's fucking hard. But I like adventure. Milo said the priest thing on the Drunken Peasants podcast with the amazing. Milo was drunk drinking wine from a bougie looking. No, I'm sure that no, that wasn't on Drunken Peasants, bro. I, I remember him being across from Joe Rogan saying that. And Joe Rogan was like, what? <laughs> that was like peak Molly Annapolis. And that was when peak Molly Annapolis, the bubble burst instantly. Tipster thought, you know what? I'm going to go in on Boogie. Boogie's a, a low cow. He's a fat p He's a coward. He's this. He's that. I'm going to just go in and just destroy Boogie 2988. And boy, that did not happen. Holy no. sh**. You just... Off, Natsu, what's going on, birds? You annihilated him. First off, you, Tipster, for destroying the fat guy code. 
when people are as fat as we are what ads are happening i don't i never it always asks me to do the smart ad insertion i don't do it are we know we're going to get from the internet we're supposed to stick together a little bit and if we can't stick together we're supposed to fucking ignore each other the way i've ignored your ass and blocked your ass and done everything I could to just leave you the fuck alone okay when you went out on me of course i'm gonna go back go, of course i'm gonna come back because dunking on you is so easy even i can do it motherfucker. Because especially when the people that support him are actually turning on him which is the whole reason he went after you in the first place he thought he had an easy i, I would victory. like to point out that the uh, thumbnail of this video makes you realize how good looking boogie is compared to tipster <laughs> no, but he, he was trying to get brownie points with Wiggs's Wiggs's one liners are fucking amazing. Oh. Okay. So it was on drunken peasants. Either way it ruined his fucking career. That was like lights out. That was it. Uh, who cares about historical life? For the next World War II game, let's make Hitler... <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's the, the sweet baby crowd. And he didn't yeah, even get that, because they're getting sick of his acts as well. Is he um, not self-aware? Like, the fact that no, he would call no. you a grifter. Like, everybody knows... He, yeah, he is the most, like, he just... Again, he pulled a Dave Rubin, except he didn't make any money off of it. He just wanted to fuck Heffels, allegedly. You know he does. Though, so come on. He knows that Tipster's a grifter. Everyone. All right? Yeah, yeah I mean, he, he, would, he used to suck off uh, Ethan Ralph yes. uh, with all Gamergate talking points and stuff like that. Um, yeah. He used to suck off Ethan Ralph. That's a sight I never want to see. I don't care how much money you pay me. Exactly. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, and, and Mediger and, and all the people that, you know, he's saying that Boogie's aligning with, you know, people that have been goofing on him, making this life miserable for years. Tip, tip, know? Like, tipster sucked me off for years, right? Like <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Right now. Right, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> right now. I can't. That's what is too good. And I have the timestamp. No, because I'll forget. Guys, I'm sorry. I know I'll probably lose some viewership because of this. But I think, is it not worth it? Making an audio file. It won't take that long. Oh, no, I don't want the new version. Because then you make everything download in M4A. And I don't want that. I have to put this up on Twitter, too, as a little video. We're going to go on a little bit of an adventure here. It's a perfect time. It's going to be a family fun adventure. Oh, my fucking soda cans. Not soda, seltzer, sorry. Ugh. That's taking surprisingly longer than I thought it was going to. It's just a fucking MP3. I don't know if you're here, John Carlos. I got to get computer. I know I, was, I talked about it like when the stream just started. I have to. Especially because I'm editing again, man. I need I need all the horsepower. All right. So. All right. So open up sound. Forge. Still love this software. Very intuitive. Wish... I'm, I have to get away from Vegas. What is this? Oh, that's what I was doing. I was editing uh, a previous video of mine. All right, you guys can see it. Yeah, that's true. Historical authenticity matters more than accuracy. I think I agree with you on that one. If it gets someone into the topic, that's good enough. Very true. Valid point. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, God, I have so many fucking windows open. Jesus Christ. No, that's not it. All right, this can go. 
No, there it is. 17. All this shit can go. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Um, it's open. Time code around 17. Come on. When people are as fat as we are, we know we're going to get from the internet. We're supposed to stick together a little bit. And if we can't stick together, we're supposed to fucking ignore each other the way I've ignored your ass and blocked your ass and done everything I could to just leave you the fuck alone. What? Uh, I bet that's for Microsoft Office. Yep, there we go. Thank you, Microsoft, for taking $100 of my money. But I'm signed up for it. Anyway. <laughs> Just saw that. I'm like, what the hell? Go, of course I'm going to come back. Because dunking on you is so easy. Even mm -hmm. I can do it, motherfucker. Because Especially when the people that support him and stuff like that. Yeah, um, exactly. You know, and, and Mediger and, and all the people that, you know, he's saying that Boogie's a lying. Here with, we go. You know, people that have been goofing on him, making his life miserable for years. Tip, tip, you know? like, tipster yeah. sucked me off for years, right? Tipster sucked. Do I need that little? Tipster thing? sucked me off for years. There it is. <laughs> Tipster <laughs> sucked me off for years. Tipster <laughs> sucked me off. Years. Tipster <laughs> sucked me off for years. <laughs> Tipster <laughs> sucked me off for years. <laughs> Tipster <laughs> sucked. <laughs> Oh, God. <sighs> All right. There we go. Yeah, we, uh, I don't even want to hit this by accident after this. JKB back with another episode. Yeah, uh, that can go away. So let's go here. Keen tip, there we go. Open this up. That can go away. Overlap. Let's hear. Tipster sucked me off for years. I'm gonna put now we got we gotta send Keemstar a a, a tweet. <laughs> All right, so first now we got to open up my Matt editing software. Not that I really like Premiere either, to be honest with you. I've had as many stability issues, at least on Windows with Premiere, as I have had with Vegas. NES Pictioner. Oh, yeah. Okay, sir. Well, I have try to relax your anus with the NES theme, so let's hear it. We go to the Steam Deck soundboard. We got to get a picture of Keem. Uh, I don't want to use the same, because as soon as you type in Keemstar, it like, shows up with like a picture from like 2015. I'll show you the pictures here. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Good old Vegas. Good morning, Vegas. Good evening, I should say. Don't crash like you always do. Where did it go? Here it is. Go back to Vegas.
you guys are seeing this, I'm assuming, right? I didn't change the window in OBS. Out. Sucked me off for... Tipsters sucked me off for years. Tipsters sucked me off for years. Oh, wait, now can I make that... Properties. Nine by sixteen. It's BHD. Who cares? And then we go here. I'll show you what to do here. See, look at the magic of editing. Then you go to match output aspects. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> All right, let me change it so I can lock the... Kind of looks like with the low-res preview that the snow is moving. Tipsters <laughs> sucked me off for years. Tipsters <laughs> sucked me off for years. Tipsters <laughs> sucked me off for years. <laughs> Tipsters <laughs> sucked me off... <laughs> oh, I think of really stupid fucking shit, don't I? Anyway, so... I'll put that in my thumbs folder because I'm sure I'll want to use this in like a video someday, like tomorrow. Um, no, I don't. God damn it. Render. I'm not going to save this file. Yeah, that's fine. Um... Always remember that tipster sucked me off for years. 2024 thumb. We will call it Keem Tip. One in caps, because it's easier to find. At least for me, because I'm weird. This should take three tenths of a second to render, even on this old dog. Wow, that was actually an overstatement. Uh, if only you actually acted like that all the time, Threadripper. But alas, you don't. Alright, so... Oh, look, Richard Simmons. There it is. Alright. I'll put it on Twitter, and we'll see what happens. I was just going to say sorry, Keem. How to do it, Keem? Sorry. Keemstar. I had to do it. Lol. And uh, let's make sure it's working. Tipsters sucked me off for years. Tipsters <laughs> sucked me off for years. Tipsters. <laughs> Wait, did Natsu already say birds? Holy shit. On this episode of Tipster sucked me off for years. Like, I hit. Dude, he must have been sitting there and been like, as soon as Rich it said, I'm saying birds. He probably had it copied and pasted so he could just, he didn't have to type out the word. He just pasted it, sent, birds. I'm on to your motherfucking game, man. It sucked me off for years and use Windows Movie. No, it's not Windows Movie Maker. Vegas is actually the problem. It's so intuitive, but it's so fucking unstable. At least it, I wish they'd make it for Mac, but yeah. I don't even know if it's going to be around in a couple years. Took Tipster to the section. Oh, God, no. Wait, yeah. Tipster sucked me off for years. <laughs> I could have put a, that's actually a pretty good clip. I could have put a little bit of a, um, fade in and out to make it a little bit more organic, but it's fine. Like Muta's, Muta's wife made this tweet. She goes, how are you, how are you saying Boogie's a bad person for, uh, working with Keemstar when you tipster sucked off Keemstar for years? Like, yeah, you are a f***ing grifter. Yeah, he did. There's, that's irrefutable. I was there and saw it with my own eyes and ass. He used to metaphorically dick ride Keemstar hard. I saw it. Like, it's, it, you can't deny a tip or -er, tipster. What is tipper? 
doctor. You're fake. You're a phony. Everyone knows it. You don't have a right to come out on the internet and call someone else a grifter. That's just yeah, stupid. It, you don't have a right to paint a I hope to God not, Jedi. Could you imagine? Picture that Boogie's an alt-writer or a Nazi, because who's buying that? No one no. is buying that. Tipster, I'm so frustrated with you talking about people being relevant or irrelevant. Like, when me and you got into a spat a little while ago, you were saying, oh, Keemstar, how the mighty have fallen. You're irrelevant now. Bro, we just like a billion views a month on Twitter. My Snapchat show is crushing. Lol cow lie. And even if none of it was, who cares? You're a millionaire. Hey, Tip, are you a millionaire? And like, I'm not dick riding Keemstar. It sounds like I am right now. I just, you know, I tell it like it is. How could you like, stop, dude. You can't knock someone down a peg when you don't when you're at the bottom uh tipster blocked me an x for applying to you oh i fucking yeah he blocked me right away that was a world record block time i've all right with lol cows is pulling 3500 concurrence right now this is what happened last night this is absolutely insane. I seen this from Bo Blacks showing tipster at the end of uh, 2023 last year saying it was a roller coaster for him, but he's overcome and he's got all this good stuff going on. Last night, tipster had 40 concurrent viewers four zero. Oh God. <laughs> You're making my numbers look wonderful. No. Can Nick? Tom, Chris, and Bull Blacks basically restreamed his stream, and they had anywhere between 3,000 and 5,000 people watching Tipster on their stream making fun of him. <laughs> like, bro, I mean, stop talking about fing relevancy. Don't call Wings irrelevant. Don't call Boogie irrelevant. Don't call Keemstar irrelevant. Don't call any of us irrelevant. Are you fing dumb? Well, but I, gave him a I gave him a chance to be relevant because I, I asked him to uh. do a fight after the Boogie fight and he turned me down. Ah, the DK oldies marathon videos losing out now. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't have the balls to walk in there. He's probably healthier than I'll ever be. And again, in this fucking lifetime, that. And he's dark anus. Yeah, he he blocks quickly. I've I found I like I knew before, but then I called him out. He blocks super fucking quick, dude. Too big of a to walk in there. I I understand the tipster mentality, and it's pure unadulterated projection. He thinks I'm a shyster. Because he's a shyster. He's selling bullshit. That's what he does. He thinks that Keemstar cares about relevancy. Oh, yeah, good luck on your surgery, man. Thank you for being around for so long. But most first and foremost, good luck with your surgery, dude. Thank you. When Tipster is the one who's obsessed with his own irrelevancy, his complete lack of relevancy. He calls you... Damn, 40 viewers. <sighs> Or me a coward because he's terrified to step in the fucking ring. It's pure 100% projection. Let's talk about his relevancy, people. Here's a tweet from Nicholas Diorio, which he he screen capped Tippy because Tippy was saying that he was shadow banned by YouTube. So <sighs> that's not a real thing. I don't think Tipster goes and has a conversation with YouTube, and they basically so tell him that the reason why his channel is not showing up in the search results is because he's irrelevant. YouTube tells him this. He goes, <laughs> this is you. Yeah, see, man, whatever the case may be, one thing I always look at is you the biggest thing if you you whatever you're going through a drama or not if you end up being even remotely relevant on youtube it's inevitable i think the only exception to drama maybe unless there has been in drama i just don't know about it is mkbhd he's like the only one i know that hasn't been in any kind of shit um make the Mara, take off that damn shirt i can't thank you i will take off the shirt yes you will get the mario paint music Maybe if I can find it. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. I have to see what the audience says.
Yeah, but shadow bed. Why am I shadow bed? No one, no one just wants to watch your shit, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think he's ever been in a drama as far as I know. He that's an exception though. We'll see, man. If it's fifty if it's at fifty percent or above, yes. But if the majority of people, you know, that's why I put up a poll, don't want it. You know. Sue, I can't play your ass like a bongo drum. Your husband would be pissed. YouTube. He's talking to YouTube. He's like, yeah, you're a smart man, Josh Jones. Hey, when people search my name, how come my channel's not coming up? YouTube tells him, look, there are a lot of videos being made about you by much popular people. <laughs> so yeah. when they search that, they're obviously going to get those videos and you're not that popular. So you're not going to show up in the search results. That's he what got wings. YouTube told him. <laughs> he got that wings. I didn't get wings. No. I mean, look, man. I, I, I'm not at my best moment right now, but when YouTube's telling you that you just no one's talking about you, it's time to just turn off the lights and pack it in, son. It's YouTube themselves saying people are just not watching you. It's not a conspiracy. It's not hearsay. It's not a troll in the comments section telling you go flip burgers at McDonald's. That's something that happened to me today. It's YouTube themselves. It's it's time. It's like we're showing you the numbers. <laughs> oh, he got wings. Hey, he hey, got hey, wings. hey! I've took my search results back over, my. Yeah, okay. yeah. Well, well, he got wings, and uh, he got 2018 wings. <laughs> yeah, there was one period where like all my troll channels would pop up before my. Sh I think um, you are the only one, Tommy that actually mm -hmm. has contact with uh tipster via discord oh i think i i think i lost it when the the, the last time we called him i think that's oh sh i i have heard some strange things about Vito. i don't know the accuracy of them i hope they're not accurate uh we do align in many ways politically though uh but i have heard some stuff yeah, I know. I know. I needed a break for many reasons. Uh, it was good to take. I stayed in my little bubble, you know. I oh, I do cook bagels. To come on the show. If you're somehow watching this, we want to have you on. From the outside looking at it, it's probably looking like 5v1 or something. Not going to happen. I will... I'll leave. I'll leave. Yeah, you know, I mean, honestly, I'll, I'll sit out too. Yeah, I'll, I'll sit out too. The, I'll, I have to sit here, right? But I'll moderate it. I'll just make sure there's no screaming. I won't voice my opinion until after it's done and over with. And I'll let yeah. Boogie and Tipster talk it out. I'll already tell you how it's going to go, Tipster. You Listen, my, my next brilliant business move is I'm going to make an anti-woke gamer show with no plan whatsoever, but I'm going to take your money right now. Give me money. Oh, my God. I, I whatever you're going to win the argument that no video game is purely a uh, uh, a lecture about about white people being bad and then you're going to lose the lecture about the fact that politics have been inserted to video games for the last 10 years and it's robbed us of some really fun sh and then i'm going to attack your character and then you can attack mine by the way rich definitely wants to pop on tonight he's, he's sending me dms right now saying he'd love to pop on as soon as you're yep. ready well no we're, we're 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 gonna do that let me uh get Oh wait, that's the, no, 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 am I in this? Yes, I know. No, no. Stop! Well, okay. I am, Woom. Yeah, no, no, fucking, no, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, it was like, oh. I thought it was just tip. <laughs> I wish we, oh, 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 oh.
Ah, Nick Rikisha, you've had kind words for me before. I also think you're a piece of shit. Many people think you're a piece of shit, and you've let your true colors show. Now, I don't know who Alyssa is. I don't even know if she's real. It may just be someone with a fucking sock account. Uh, Here's... Well, I'm sold. Here you go. Don't spend it all in one place. I'm sorry about your dad, man. Damn. Appreciate it, dude. But Jesus. Yeah. I don't know. This, I, I hope this guy is still practicing law because if, if his clients see his fucking videos, they're going to run for the hills. Oh, shit. James Gardner says... Yeah, Nick Rakesh is like, he's another right-wing grifter, but he's like falling apart more than me. Um, TL5, stop. <laughs> that was good. I can't eat. Stop it. Why are you baiting me, motherfucker? Um... Yeah, but I think it's because he's been hitting the bottle really hard, really fast. Like, yeah, he aged like, what was it the Poems Future said? Who the fuck ma mailed this guy Super Aids? <laughs> who, the, no, who the fuck sent this guy Super Aids in the mail? <laughs> PPP said you were unhealthy and only eat Cheetos crumbs and tiny Snickers. Okay, first of all, tiny Snickers are delicious. If you yeah, but they're not a meal replacement. Never eaten a tiny Snickers. I it's like aspirin, but Snickers form. Um, Cheetos crumbs are gross. I prefer a full Cheeto. Uh, and if anybody is ever taking health advice from PPP, guys, his belt size his belt size is measured in famous mountains. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, he called me a fat fuck, too. Like, not exactly those words, but yeah, he's... uh, Yeah, but you're looking great, Nick. I, I, You're looking real healthy right now. <laughs> Keep on keeping on, buddy. Like, he's a fat piece of shit. Who can barely breathe. <gasps> I to engage yeah, imagine this guy representing you in court. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God. Whatever. I like PPP. He's funny. But the guy's, a, the guy's an embarrassment to human health. Um, so if he says I'm unhealthy. Yeah, why don't you take another sip there, Nick, as you talk about someone else's health. How is that alcohol going down? Is it going down nice and smooth? I'm a size queen. The timing of your super chat worked perfectly with what we're talking about here. I don't know why. Not really, but it just sounded right. Like, bro, you've aged 50 years in six months, and you're talk to giving someone else health advice and mocking them? Talk about lack of self-awareness. Uh... Yeah, he's the crackhead version of Saul Goodman. Love that actor, too. He does a lot of stuff with Tim and Eric. Or used to, Good. anyway. Great. That's fine. Um, I don't trust his health advice at all. To the point where if he says I'm unhealthy, I'm probably the Hey, okay, dude. I'm, I'm a fat fuck and not a doctor. Drinking a bunch of alcohol and having Cheetos and Snickers bars, doesn't matter what your waist size is, is unhealthy. Do we, do we need to even have a debate about that? Do I need to stop this poll and put up another one? I don't think we do. I don't think you need to be a, a, a board-certified physician to say drinking yourself into a fucking stupor and having Cheetos is a good diet. Just me. Healthiest I could possibly be. Uh, he says he was in a dumpster Santa robe in February. This makes me think you're all good. Oh, yeah, exactly. Correct. Thank you, James Gardner. Yeah, if PVB... Uh, it looks like the DKLD's these video is not happening, folks. He says I'm unhealthy. I know I'm healthy because it is trending downward like crypto. 
What does that mean? Oh, if Macaulay Culkin and Steve Buscemi. Yeah, I could kind of see that. But he's, he was actually a fairly normal, decent-looking dude. And then all of a sudden, it was like, man, he hit the sauce. And he was just like, <laughs> stick this fucking bottle of Jim Bean in my fucking veins, man. EVP would call up a donut shop and tell them that they're selling uh, vegan food. He has no concept of health. Or like, but he is funny though. Like, I like him. What's up? Uh, what's up, PPP? How you doing? I don't even remember what's his name. Autism. Aut uh, histrionic? No, it's not histrionic. Bipolar? Uh, no, I think it's autism. What is PPP's real name? Like, unironically, what is it? I can't remember. Ashton, that's his name. His name is Ashton. Uh, what's up? Like, I, I like PPP. Didn't this guy have a deal with Rumble for a bit? Uh, his name is Ashton, yeah. apparently. Which yeah, like, I, I get and what I heard. This is alleged, alleged that, like, he doesn't eat as much because he's afraid the alcohol will make him fat. And he, like, really hates fat people, like, a lot. From what I'm seeing, anyway. So he doesn't, you know. I guess he rather look like a fucking skeletor. Uh, here you go. Uses towards the birds award show where all the world will use birds. Isn't there a game with birds? Like a, a legit one. It has a duck. Jesus Christ! Look at his arm. You can see. Yeah. It's time to take birds back. That's it, man. I'm putting up a website. We're going to have a bird award. I'm going to have no plan. Don't know what I'm doing with the money, but I will take your money, and I will have a $1,000 a year tier for a planless award show about birds. But just replace the birds with Craig actually wanting to do an anti-woke award show, and he has no plan, and he admits it, but he will take your money now. <sighs> Which is way less letters than his weight would suggest. Yeah, yeah, he's he, he's not a fan of fat people, so he'd rather just drink himself to death and have Cheeto dust. Good job, dude. Who does he say? Rest and piss. Uh, yeah, I'm avoiding that with a 10 foot law tube struggle sessions. No, those don't look. Oh, he's pissed here. The Minnesota Lawyers Professional Responsibility Board is currently investigating me. I fucking wonder why. Who would you? I wonder what the reason could be. They say that my reading the names of the baseless bullshit ethics complaints based on defamation that that impeded why does sue is sue always drops bangers why does he have lego bitty figure hair he does yeah it does dude is he like the the legal version of philip burdell because i noticed that the detractors, they're kind of crossing with Nick Rikisha now. Time is healing, Nick. Time heals all wounds. Hi. And affected the administration of justice, even though they were dismissed. He's drunk right here. I could tell the way he's talking. I'm stoned out of my face right now, but I'm formulating words better than this man. Holy shit. Without investigation, somehow 
my broadcasting of the na Yeah, he's like, somehow, my broadcasting. Gee, I wonder why the fuck you're under investigation. Could it be that you're pissed drunk on stream right now? Are you fucking kidding, champ? Names. Julie, welcome. How are you? Yeah, he's fucking slosh, J-Ram, 100%. Of the names themselves in dismissed actions was impeding the administration of just yeah his face his facial expressions the way he's kind of like he's on the mic with his hand you could tell he's he's lit up Justice. so they've been investigating me I told them. I'm no lawyer, and I didn't pass the bar, but isn't this an awful thing to talk about during a fucking live stream if you're a lawyer <laughs> talking about that you're under investigation? Wouldn't you not want to do that? I mean, I I I'm not the brightest bulb in the room, but <laughs> I think that's something you would not want to do. But he's stupid and arrogant, so let him do it. I'm here. Thank you, uh, lawyer Philip Riddell. Let's keep going. I told them very clearly the ethics complaints against me are unrelated to the practice of law and entirely ra related to my First Amendment protected activity. And they're also, this now also implicates my Sixth Amendment right to confront my accusers. Because I don't know if you guys know this. I It's it's here with VOD because probably in a few minutes I'm going to call it a night because I got some stuff I still got to do. And I don't want to wake up late tomorrow because I want to do the PS5 video with my dad. So, because that one went out. Like, I looked at the fucking... Uh, I did another poll for that. It was like 80% the refurbished GameStop PS5. And it was like, and I, I maybe it's even more than that now. Let's look real quick. And then we'll get back to our friend Nikki here. Let's see how the poll is doing now. Yeah, 2.6 votes. I bet you it's going to keep trending that way. Ah, oh, shit. I forgot to take this down because I took the video down. Oh, I, I'm not going to report my poll. Uh, I got to vote for myself because I'm on my other account. Let me go for the one I know is not going to win. Yeah, look at that. You see it? I mean, I think people are going to like this one, but yeah, I knew that. And that look how many votes. So anyway. I think I made it clear in a previous um, live stream long, uh, probably a couple years ago, though. You cannot sue someone, even. I think it's actually anything kind of on a. I mean, I think the one dimensional anti woke shit sue is over with. But, like, look at side scrollers. They're on a huge upward trend right now. He's just a fucking clown who's drinking, drinking his way out of a career, and he's fucked over i don't even know the exact story with him i always knew he wasn't a great guy from before all this happened anyway so and if they lie about what you say to the lawyer's professional responsibility office they're able to defame you in the worst ways they're able to lie about what you say they're able to lie about what you do they're able to lie about everything and make their claim with no prejudice to the possibility that they're lying. Yeah, why don't you talk about it publicly while you're drunk that you're being investigated? I'm sure this is going to help your case. I, this is a while ago. Maybe there was an outcome from this. You know what it is? There's a more core audience here that's more enthused about projects that I do. My audience on my other channel, whatever's left of it, is still totally different. I know I talk to YouTube and they always say, uh, 
you should have everything on one channel. I'm like, but you count, you still to this day, as far as I know, you count live stream viewership as a normal video, which to me is so dumb. Because it's a totally different audience. So. Yeah, but if people don't want to see it, they're not going to click on it. So if I upload the video and people are like, I, Rich, I told the majority of your audience doesn't want to see this. It's not good to do, you know. So I told them, I said, that's fucked up, bro. Because if you discipline me, you'll release their names. How can my releasing of their names have anything to do, have a fucking thing to do with their privacy when if you, if you discipline me, their names get released? By the way, if they discipline me, here's, the st here, here's how it goes. A complaint is filed. They'll determine to investigate or not investigate. If they don't investigate, they dismiss it. If they investigate, they have to then file a disciplinary action. I cannot believe you were talking about all this. I cannot believe, like, if you saw these videos and you were like, hey, I need legal counsel, would you honestly go to this fucking guy? Seriously? If... I could see if he did, like, a more structured, sane show. Like, there's lawyers that also are, like, consultants on, like, CNN and Fox and all that shit. This ain't it, though. They file a disciplinary action. I'm going to hire the most fucking base lawyer on the planet. And I will fucking disclose everything about these people as part of the action. Fuck you, Fuck you, Lawyers Professional Responsibility Office. I will bend you over on the altar of the First Amendment. Wow. And the Sixth. I have a right to confront my accusers. And you fucking faggots. He's looking for more clients. I, I don't uh, this was a while ago was is this still under investigation I don't know how it works I I can't I can't f think that this ended well for him prevent me from filing a lawsuit for defamation based on complaints that they post on Twitter oh oh you want a fucking sixth amendment they've accused me of shit that's a lie I will fuck them and I'll fuck you and I'll Fuck you in front of the Supreme Court of the United States, you fucking bitches. Fuck you. God, he sounds like more angry than I've been. You think this law license is worth more than my rights? Fuck you. I will fucking destroy all of you. All of you on the altar of the First Amendment and free fucking speech and the Sixth Amendment and the right to confront coward fuck. I just have this gut feeling that with whatever happened, he was probably in the wrong about. It's an assumption. I could be wrong. King accusers who know they're lying to try and harm me, who post their lies on Twitter for the public. I didn't disclose their shit. They did. Fuck them. Fuck them in the mouth. Fuck them. Fuck them in the mouth. I'm everywhere. I'm so goddamn tired of this shit. I didn't give up my first and sixth amendment rights because I'm an attorney. I embrace them and I will ream the shit out of you. I will take you 1983 to federal court and I will burn you and I will force you to fucking pay me for what you did. Fuck you. I would love to know the outcome of this. <laughs> Oh, wait, I, I stopped it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 
I haven't disclosed it, and I won't. And I won't disclose the name of the person who filed a lawsuit against, or who filed this claim against me, because guess what? I don't disclose ongoing matters because I understand my ethical obligation. But when a matter is dismissed, it's fucking done. And the people who filed it can fucking deal with the consequences of lying about me and everybody else. Fuck you. I have a First Amendment right. And I have not violated a single goddamn law of Minnesota or the United States. You want to take, you want to, you want to punish me for speech that isn't violative of law? Fucking try it. I'll take it to the Minnesota Supreme Court. I'll take it to the U.S. Supreme Court. I'll be the motherfucker that secures the right for every online attorney to protect his reputation against fucking troon bullshit every day. Fuck you. These fucking people lied about what I said. They openly lied about what I said. There was a fuck. I, I know I'm being quiet, but boy, is he entertaining. It's he's a he's entertaining as he's he's digging himself into a giant fucking hole. Fucking video attached that doesn't say what I said. They know that what they posted was a lie. They know that what they reported was a lie. They know it was a fucking lie. Oh, he's always said hateful shit, even before he was on the sauce. Fuck them! That is actual malice. And I can't sue them, but you bet your ass I can talk about it in public. And fuck them, fuck their names, fuck their addresses, and fuck you if you think I can't do it. I will fucking destroy you on the altar of fucking freedom. And if you disbar me, I'll fucking do it a thousand times. I dare you to do it. I dare you to do it. Fuck you. I'm so fucking pissed at these people. And I'm sure this video was used to <laughs> help color their, their decision on you. Yeah, uh, sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> is that like a spike seltzer? I think it might be a spike seltzer, actually. Free speech doesn't stop when you get a law license. Nothing these people have said about me has anything to do with my practice of law. This was his birthday celebration stream? Happy birthday. Ever. None of it has to do with my law license. It's all enti entirely related to my First Amendment protected speech. If you want to employ the state to take away my right to speak, I will fucking wreck you. I will wreck you over and over until you fucking like it. Ooh. Fuck these people. Fuck everybody. We get to speak. This is still goddamn America. And I will not fucking cuck to I will not fucking cuck what tipster sucked me off for years to anybody <laughs> ever wait he's only 27 no take it away I, I I thought he was like in his late 30s or 40s dare you I dare you to try He's 41. That makes more sense. I was going to say Jesus, man. I'm so tired of this shit. I'm so fucking tired of this. <laughs> yeah, the best. Johnny Depp and Michael Myers. <laughs> Yeah, he's like he's like the quartering of lawyers. I think they're actually buddy buddy or used to be buddy buddy anyway. Imagine 
imagine you. Th here's the thing. Imagine you. So think about it. Think about this guy. Like, dude, he's with his law law career. He's painted himself in a corner. Like, you obviously don't like homosexuals. So they're not going to hire you as an attorney. You don't like fat people. They're not going to hire you as an attorney. I'm pretty sure you've said some racist shit. So black people aren't going to hire you. Or minorities aren't going to hire you. So, uh... Hey, you're doing pretty good. <laughs> he hates women. Oh, that's a shocker. Well, he has a bright future. Express your opinion. And a government, not Twitter, not Facebook, not an individual, a government. Oh, shocking that he no longer practices. Comes in and says, I'm sorry, you sacrificed your opinion. For a license. I don't uh, I don't use my license. My law license is entirely a financial drain on me. I maintain it at my expense, period. You give me nothing. You've done nothing for me. Your law license, I, I don't so, practice. I don't I don't go to court. I so what do you have your fucking license for then? Just as a flex? That's weird. Steel Toller, their buddy buddy. I don't represent clients. I don't want to. I'm a broadcast personality, but I maintain my license because I worked for it. I worked fucking hard to get that license. That's okay. why I preserve it. That's it. That's the sole reason. I don't need it to do YouTube. I don't need it to do Odyssey. I could I could put my license in inactive status right now. Say, when I decide to come back... No one would hire you anyway. ...to practicing law, I'll reactivate my license. But right now, I really like broadcasting. No, I maintain an active status because I... Deal five, stop it. I fucking worked for it. Because <laughs> I'm going to laugh at the shit, man, because it's good. I sacrifice time with my family. I sacrifice time with my leisure. I sacrifice time with my hobbies. I sacrificed employment. I did everything... To get this license. You want to take it away from me? Because you lied about what I said about Keffels? Wait, what? What does Keffels have to do with anything? This is Rakesha Law. Uh, he is a right-wing grifter that I thought he actually practiced law. I guess he doesn't. He just keeps his fucking license as a flex, I guess. You want to take it away? Okay. That's mine. I don't care if I... No, I got... I got this sound bite, Cat. Tipster sucked me off for years. <laughs> I don't play with my toy anymore. You want to take it from me? You better meet a fucking bullet. On, the, on this exciting episode of Things You Don't Say, no matter how angry you are, this is coming from a guy who's been very angry on stream. <laughs> I've never... I have raged, but I have never said that. Because you try to take my shit, I will fuck you up. Forever. It's mine. I earned it. I worked for it. I got it. You didn't do shit. You want to employ the professional responsibility office against me? I will sue them into the fucking ground if I have to. I'd love to know what he said about Kevils. I mentioned it. But I'm fucking pissed off about it. These fucking dumb... I mean, whatever with the anger... Might have some of the shit he said. Is it justified or did he royally fuck up? I have a feeling it's the latter. I don't know, though. Communists. Well, someone said that you might release the names and addresses. Yeah, I might. Fuck you. Fuck them, too. They lied about me to try and harm me. They posted it on Twitter 
to try and harm me. I'm so cool, I filed an ethics complaint. You employed the government to fuck me? Fuck you. You got nothing. You disbar me? I'll release- So like he really- I thought this was like secondary for him. Homie's all in with uh... Just doing live stream shit? Okay. Put my shirt back on. I think I'm probably gonna end the stream in a few minutes anyway. <sighs> yeah, I'm kind of feeling it too. And I should play more of a... Uh... He still gets 6 to 12k viewers a stream, huh? Oh, maybe I should just become a complete train wreck and I'll profit. <laughs> oh, man. Man, oh, man, oh, man. This shit ain't nothing to me, man. <laughs> All right, let me go take a leak. I'm not ending the stream just yet. I'll be right back. Breasts. Motivated piece of shit. That's why they called him Slim Shady. We're God. I cannot believe that album's fucking 25 years old, man. Ha. Uh, Alright, man, that was an awesome stream. Feels good to stream. It's nice. Trauma fucking free stream, too. It's quite fun. I appreciate the people that still support genuinely. Uh, I'm going to keep hustling. Maybe I'll just release the video Friday. I don't know. Let me think about it more. It's an amazing video and I don't want it to just get lost like a turd in the toilet. Like Nick Rakesh's career. Yeah, I think I'm going to end the stream, enjoy this high, and go into the lands between my ass cheeks. Or Elden Ring. Why did I say that? Anyway, have a good night, everybody. I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, and tomorrow I'm going to be working on that refurbished PS5 video. That'll be interesting, and I know a lot of people want to see that. That's The poll at least says it. Have a good one. What are you? What would you like, sir? Hi, Jeremy. Hold on. We have a man here. <laughs> we have a man alert. 
You got five minutes. What's up? I'll talk to you. I've been civil with Jeremy. It's fine. It's no big deal. Is everything okay, dude? I'm just curious. Okay. Cool. Have a good night, man. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you soon. Yeah, I'm heading out. I'm fucking exhausted. Have a good one. I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Have a good night. I'm s more than likely yes.